Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Zebert Zidell. With me, as always, the boys are in the building. We got my main man, Angry John Rosado. Hello. The boy got some dog. Got some know? dog in it. <laughs> <laughs> we got my main man, Anthony Shuley, with nine and a half toes, and he stays punching them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep saying it, man? You, you're going to get the fucking. It's domestic. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> And then here he is, the birthday boy, my man, co host, Moneyline Welsh, the big 40. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Jay Jackson, my man. Hold on, everybody. I got Jack a gift. I mean, just like, <laughs> shout out to, oh, thanks, buddy. Let's see what I what got we you. got here? We didn't do this yet. <laughs> a 2004 Tiger Woods card. From International Card Day. For, it's, from it's, International Card Day. It's a, it's a keeper. And we got a <laughs> sweet box of Pro V1s. Thanks, Z-Bird. I mean, hey, you know, it's the kind of guy I am. Everyone sees that. That's a, that's yeah. a top quality <laughs> golf ball Top there. quality golf ball for a top quality golf ball. Jesus Christ. I know, I know this is going to be hard, and here we go. Now, real quick before we get the show started, everybody got a couple announcements. All right, so we got our show coming up September 2nd. Tickets available, ballrocketsocial.com. What do you uh, think? Like, we're looking at 20 some tickets left? There's 27 tickets left. So if you need tickets, grab your tickets now. We're getting ready to go on DV. It was supposed to be this week, Cross on vacation. So we're going on, We got you guys got a couple extra days, but those tickets will be gone by the end of the week. So grab them if you're coming to the show. There's not like going to be like an extra people coming in. Uh, another announcement: August 27th, I'm gonna be headlining at Comptra Theater. It's a great show for a great cause. Matt Light, Samantha Bentley, but I'll be headlining. Taylor Dang is sponsoring uh, the filming of that, so I'm trying to get as many pe- people as I can there, so it turns out good. So any support would be appreciated. You can get your tickets at comptratheater.com or just type in Google Comptra Theater and right there, tickets, August 27th. Uh, show starts at 7.30. I'd really appreciate anybody and everybody to try to come to that show because uh, I'm not going to get a lot of opportunities to get like high-quality footage of myself like this. Like There's not going to be a bunch of times where people are going to pay for this, so I'm trying to get one good time. What outfit you going to wear? Probably, probably one of my sweet ass Greenfield's finest podcast shirts. There you go. My there. my boots that I got at Old Navy and the fucking the that's same ripped pants. jeans. Yeah, ripped jeans. There you my go. uniform. That's well, that's uh, good. So the Keep sa- it consistent. Uh, the sales over. We're probably going to start another one. Sale didn't do too bad uh, for the stuff for the merch, but we'll probably be dropping another one in a couple weeks. So if you get missed some the- fall shit out there, yeah, we'll be get dropping some hoodies and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, big four zero just uh, went on vacation, and I feel every bit of forty. How's that uh, three day bender feel when you're forty, Jack? Like hell. Well, John, I need to find a different way to vacation. <laughs> it's, just, it's not suitable. It's not sustainable to just take the pain. The life, dude. I, I I can't even take the pain anymore. That's what like uh, that was my mentality going to this. Like, you could do anything for four days. <laughs> Sure can't. <laughs> so you got after. You haven't been drinking that heavy, dude. No, sure haven't. And you, I went, just, you went hard for four days? Yeah, you would think, like, you know, like, man, you used to. I used to drink, like, every weekend for a better part of, like, I don't know, 20 years. And fucking taking all that time off and then really, like, bringing it back, you would think, like, oh, maybe he won't be able to, like, drink as much. It just I don't, I don't skip a beat. I'm just fucking deleting fucking beers like they're going out of fucking style <laughs> and next thing you know i don't it's just the cost is a lot more cost, than it used to man, be buddy dude, the juice I, ain't worth the squeeze yeah, it's, it's fucking tough i came out of the gate hot thursday night lit fort lauderdale on fire <laughs> saturday or friday woke up fucking went hard at the pole bar and then friday night i like <laughs> friday night we went out and i like Woke up late, got in the shower real quick, met everybody downstairs, felt fine. And I ate it like an edible in the middle of the day. And like I just I kind of forgot about it. And I we get to the dinner table, we get to the restaurant, and like this girl, it's a, there's a big line and shit, and like I'm starting to get like the like just sweat for no reason and just get that fucking like <laughs> watery mouth feeling. I'm like, okay, I gotta like sit down and drink some water. So I'm like going up to the hostess stand to like check in and like, you know, like when you get a text message from like the hostess stand, they like go up your tables ready. Like you just walk up to the side of the table and like show your text message. So like I wait in line, this poor girl comes over, tries to show her text message. I was like, hey, there's a line. (laughs) She looks at me like I'm fucking insane. She's like, oh, my table's ready. I was like, I'm so sorry. (laughs) 
I owe you an apology. <laughs> she, was she was like, like that mean old guy just yeah, yelled at me. She was like, it's good. I was. I looked at her boyfriend. I was like, I apologized already. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got something to say, asshole? <laughs> so we sit at we sit at the fucking table. I'm trying to look at the menu, but I'm like so sick at this point, and like I'm not fucked up. I'm just like I can't even explain what I was. I was just like, my my body was breaking down. I needed rest. <laughs> So, like, they hand me the menu, and I'm, like, looking at it, and I'm, like, I can't read this. And I knew we were at an Italian place. So, they come by, they're, like, hey, what could I get you? I was, like, margarita pizza, spaghetti. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I'll never, I, like, I would never I order. I thought you were going with the chicken parm yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, thought you were saying, like, I know you have a chicken parm here. I would never, ever just order spaghetti. Like, you know, I would order a pasta dish, but not just straight. The two was, like, just spaghetti, man. I was, like, Spaghetti. Do you want to add anything to that? I was like, I'll just take the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, this is, like, a normal. I know it's weird. I can feel that it's weird. But, like, at this point, I'm just, like, trying to survive. Was anybody like, Jack, are you okay, buddy? No, they were, like, ignoring it because they didn't want me to go home. You know, they, they, uh, thought, they thought I'd be able to, they like. They knew you were on the struggle bus and yeah, they just wanted to get you like, through. Yeah, get a meal in him. He'll probably be able to bounce back. And that's what I thought, too. Because, like I said, it wasn't, like, like fucked up. It was just, like, a more of a sick fucking just felt like hell. And then I just quietly ordered an Uber and left. Before, <laughs> and you trapped him. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. And, 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 and the lady was like, I'll go home with you. I was like, I was like, I'm already, no, I was like, I'm already halfway home. She's like, what? I said, I'm halfway home. I was like, have a good time. <laughs> you bailed on Lainey, too? You I bailed on every single person. That's that came, great. That's, that's that, great. I came to Florida for my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> And then we had, I mean, don't get me wrong. You want to go home? You want to go home? Dude. It I've wasn't like there. It was either like I'm going to be laying on the ground, or like I got to go home. Yeah, How good did that hotel bed hospital? feel? The hotel when bed felt great, but I got fucking. I so I, I put like my hotel in the Uber. She's taking me some crazy way, and I'm just like, all right. She's just like putting me through the ringer here, beating me up for a couple extra bucks. Takes me to a whole different hotel. She's like, here you go. And I'm like, this ain't my hotel. And she was like, B Ocean. My, I was like, B Ocean. And I was like, that's not what that says. The dude up his door. He's like, all right, buddy, get out. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, this is not where I'm staying. So then I had to fucking change the address. She finally took me back. So How we're far talking away about, was that? We're ta- it wasn't like, nothing like down there is that far. But we're talking about a six minute over to turn it probably to a 26 minute Ooh. over. When it was all said and done. <laughs> and you didn't need when that. When I was fighting for my life. <laughs> Like literally, you should have just ate your pasta. Like thinking and about like, hey, I could throw up in my shoe, <laughs> like shit, like shit, like that. And it was, uh, it was brutal, but it was fun. It's just like, it's so you so took hard. off Friday night, and that, did you pull it back together Saturday? Yeah, Saturday was fine. But like, dude, once you hit like, for me, once I hit that wall of like pain, it's hard for me to do much after that. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I drank the rest of the time. But, but I, I just didn't even feel like it was like working, right? You know what I mean, so I just was eating a bunch of edibles and like smoking weed and shit like that. Which so is you cool. didn't talk much the rest of the weekend. Usually when you get high, you don't. Say yeah, yeah, no, was, up. yeah, no, I got up. everything I had to say out the first couple of days. <laughs> I was pretty quiet after that, but it was, uh, I don't know, it was fun. But I, yeah, we just gotta like, we gotta figure out a different way to vacation because the the. The three four day bender stuff is you have to start scuba diving or some shit. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we didn't do one activity. We didn't do one yeah, activity. Yeah, horseback an activity. In not there. not a single. No one hopped on a jet ski. Oh, no, one, like we didn't get a boat. Like no, we just like just drank, just drank our fucking nuggets off until right. like they're literally about it. to fall off. Till you're about to get on the plane, like I want to kill myself. But that's kind of like what Fort Lauderdale is, dude. Is I mean, it? It's, it's like a, it's like a, like an older version of Ocean City pretty much you know what i mean people people are getting hammered right so i don't know it was fun but yeah 41 go to montana and golf <laughs> or something like that because <laughs> go to a ranch starting to you feel a little bit better yeah go fly fishing right <laughs> i'm not going to take the, f- the hook off the, f- the fish off the hook but i'm sure you no i'm not going to put that. the worm on it either but <laughs> no, me either. but we uh florida's just a a wild place dude we've seen this lady walking around she had a tank top on, and it said, my ideal weight, and, like, there was an arrow pointing, like, down to her pussy, <laughs> is, and then it said, Clay Matthews on top of me. Oh, I love it. <laughs> hey, dude, yeah. what? 
What'd she look like? I gotta hear it. Dude, I mean, she can I like, put? Can I picture? She, she looked like, like 60, absolute hell. Like sixty years old. Yeah, she had pajama pants on. Yeah, uh, of course she sand, did. She had pajama pants on and she was like walking around. She like, had house pole. shoes, dude. I, I, yeah, she had sandals, fuzzy she was, like, slippers. She was just dragging them and like she was with her husband. So it's like you know, <laughs> he she didn't give a fuck. No, he didn't give a fuck. He's like, I love for Clay Matthews to pot my old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Get up in there, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I had so many questions for this like lady if she. Would have caught me on the first two. She caught. I seen this on like Monday leaving because we didn't leave till five yesterday. So we had like a whole another like beach pool day. I seen that gem yesterday. But I, if she would have caught me a little drunk a couple days before that. I would have had a million questions for her. But yeah, what, like, how old is that shirt? When did you get it? Do you still yeah. like feel Are you that about way? Senior or yeah. junior? Do you still feel that way about Clay Matthews, who like has a bit in the NFL and what? Five years, She's probably, probably talking about his dad to play for the Oilers. Yeah. Longer than that. <laughs> the lineman. Dude, yeah. I think he left early 2010. That's, <laughs> that's his career. And like, are you from Green Bay? Did you travel down here from Wisconsin? Because that seems like a fucking far place to come to Fort Lauderdale. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. she's 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 talking about his dad. 100%. <laughs> Maybe, but uh, and then there was another character. We were swimming in the ocean. We were just minding our business, and this dude was like, he could have grew up in Hazelwood. <laughs> you know, he just looked like one of them dudes. <laughs> fucking he pops up he fucking had a uh a, a snorkel like a cheat like you know bought at the fucking yeah store, like, just snorkel. the glasses attached the gla- to the mouth yeah exactly yeah. And yeah. he's like snorkeling around us and fucking whatever have, have, have he had fun. flippers on his yeah, feet he didn't have any flippers i don't uh. think i don't think his old lady would stretch for the flippers <laughs> but she comes around us and she was like i just gotta stand near people because i'm scared of Scared of what's in the ocean. My boyfriend's out there looking at the fish. And like, she keeps, like, talking to us. I'm like, okay, great. Then her boyfriend, like, comes over afterwards. He's like, man, them barracuda are mean today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking creep was swimming around looking yeah. at butt cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. Whole time. Yeah. He didn't see Lee, one fucking yeah. fish. Lee, he was like, who's this yeah. guy floating around me? Yeah. He's like, he's looking at her pussy. And he like, jumps out. And barracudas <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah. He popped out between girls' legs he and like shit. One of those guys. That's what I mean. He, he pulled the Uncle Eddie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, the water's, like, very clear yeah. down there. Like, so I'm like, oh, I was like, I don't see no barracuda. <laughs> She's and like you, Jimbo. And, and you, you can see her ass is above the water. And if you could, if you could see the barracuda, keep it to yourself, cause yeah. I don't need, I don't need a barracuda update while I'm trying to fucking swim. No, was yeah. he chewing while he was scuba diving? He, he there ain't like a goddamn was. thing wrong with that. <laughs> he, had, he had no teeth. <laughs> he was fucking wild looking. <laughs> but then the gem of it all was yesterday in the airport, fucking. You know, four days of eating like hell and like drinking, the old colon was. was yeah, I was gonna ask you how that's up. doing. Oh, acting up's an understatement. It's put me, it's put me back on the wagon here for unseeable oh, future, no. <laughs> <laughs> foreseeable future. Uh, but we were about to, we were about to like Southwest. You know, I, I fucking didn't check in. I was C eleven, so was Lenny. So I was like, all right, we got. They started loading. It takes a while. So I went and banged like one quick shit out. Everything was fine. <laughs> We're about halfway through the bees, and my stomach just starts rumbling. And I'm oh, like, so I can't get on this airplane with this going on because you know you don't know how long you'll be able to stand yeah. up. Like it's yeah. just to be a fucking mess. So I was like, I'll be right back. She's like, where are you going? And I didn't even like tell her because I knew she was gonna ask me a million. Like I just needed to take. I gotta care. take a shit. Yeah, I gotta finish this up. So I go and it's taking a little longer than expected. And I'm like getting like missed calls and like shit from her. <laughs> that I, like, and I'm like, dude, I know. I gotta, I'm trying to catch, we, I get it. Like, I gotta get there. Yeah. So I get there at the very end. I'm like the last five people on the plane. Walk up and like she's halfway, like she's probably about 15, 20 rows back. She's shaking her head at me like this. And I'm like, so I almost sat down like next to strangers. But like, so, but I like just kept walking, get there. And like, it's a fucking the, uh, emergency row seat. And I was like, oh, man, great save, babe. You know what I mean? And she's like, I'm ready to kill you. And I'm like, why? She, Her and this old lady almost went like fisticuffs over the seat because Lenny was trying to save the seat. And this lady was trying to like punk her out of her seat, have her move. And so her and her husband could sit there. And Lenny's like, get the, like, no, dude. She's like, this lady. So I sit down. And I was like, sweet. So like, there's tension. You could feel yeah. it. And I'm like, sweet save, babe. And then the, I hear the lady like, Oh great! I'm like, what this? What's this bitch's problem? <laughs> yeah. So they're like, could you imagine if your daughter 
acted like that, like talking about Lainey and shit like that. And I'm like, dude, Ooh, Lainey's the nicest snap. person in the world. Yeah. There's no way she was wrong there. You know? Yeah. Right. And I'm like, are they talking about you? And she was like, yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I'm like, what did I miss? So she said, like, this lady, like, tried to punk her out of the seat, tried to, like, step over her and, like, threw, like, this big fucking, like, snap out. She was, like, talking shit the whole flight, but just, like. Just enough to just where you didn't want to like, Because, like, what are you going to do? Like, you're a viral right. video on an airplane right. if you turn yeah. around. So once there's not a good end of a viral video on an airplane, yeah. usual, usually. So the stewardess comes out to Lenny. She's like, by the way, you are exactly right in that situation. Like, don't worry about that. Because she, like, Lenny, she, Lenny's sitting that there. That felt like, good. Yeah, Lenny's sitting there, like, fuming. And then we get up at the end of the flight. And, like, she's still, like, throwing a little bit of digs in there. And I'm, like, looking around, like, where's this? Where's her husband at? Just to, yeah, where's this guy? Just, he size him just, up. Yeah, just in case. Right. So, like, he's, like, some fucking. I was, like, where's the husband? And she was, like. And he was all he was was just sitting in front of us. He had a fucking owl seat. So he, he, probably, he probably seat. hated her just as much as you did by so, the end of the And it flight. was like some like older cool guy. I would have beat the fuck out of him. But <laughs> he looked like he didn't, you know, he just he didn't want to deal with hey, her. Don't either. look at me, pal. I gotta yeah, live with her. I gotta live with her. Exactly. <laughs> so we're like getting off, and she was like, her husband hates her too. Like you should have like Lainey's like still going. They're like in the next tram car over. You could tell the girls still talking. Me and the husband at this point, Lainey's like talking. And like you know, you could see through those tram cars, and like the husband's just looking at me, and I'm like, "We're, it's okay, buddy." Me and you are yeah. cool, buddy. <laughs> yeah, mm. don't worry about this. Like everything, as long as everything fucking works yeah, out. Yeah, I just gotta get my baggage, and I'm out of here. Yeah, but it was. I was like, man, you uh, you can't be a viral video plane. You just can't. You know, it's easy airplane to snap though on an airplane, dude. Well, People dude, you're pretty, you're, short... Jack. You're obviously pretty defeated. You, you had no. Yeah, it'd probably take a lot for you to get up and just like. Yeah, probably like somebody would have to put hands on or like. For sure, yeah. or like literally, like get up and like scream I, in somebody's face. Yeah. Get in somebody's face. Right. I had, I had, I was ready to roll if right. I had to. Oh, as soon as it goes, you start yeah. thinking of shit you could say. She was sitting next to a fat redheaded bitch. I was definitely gonna chime in, so I had something for old Porky too. <laughs> yeah, and I was ready to roll. But how long was the flight? <laughs> and, uh it's like three hours. No, it's less than that. But there was we sat. It's like on an hour and forty five minutes, ain't it? Everybody's wrong. It's two hours and 20 minutes, more yeah. or less. Uh, Everybody's wrong. But <laughs> you sat on the tarmac? Yeah, I sat on the tarmac for a while Just there. Just listening to that bitch so talk shit. Yeah, dude, yeah, and it was the tensions were high That's for a That's uncomfortable. Bit. <laughs> and I just put my AirPods in and, you know, dealt with it. But I thought for I thought for sure there was going to be some type of a screaming battle altercation once we got off this fucking airplane. But it was just through the trams. It was, it was fucking funny. Would Lenny uh, beat this chick up? Was she old? Like, was she like... She was, dude, she was literally a definition of a Karen. Oh, uh, like, so she was like, like 50. She was in her 50s, white lady, blonde hair, tell a little bit of, you know, a little bit of money. Just Khaki like, shorts she on. Was, she was like, <laughs> she was like, can you believe how entitled people th- feel like talking about us? And I'm like, dude, you're like the definition. Yeah, go of look in the mirror and the fucking about. shitter. It would have been hard not to say something bad. It would have been hard, but like John said, like, dude, we were down and out. Yeah. And like, dude, once some, right. once that video turns right. on, people, you, that could get turned into anything, dude. You know, she starts charging and leaning, and I put my hand up. Next thing I know, I'm punching a girl. Yeah. Right, so. Especially when you don't feel good. Like, that's the, yeah, like, I, I had a situation Sunday where I didn't feel good. And, like, I drank too many Cokes literally the night before. And I had, like, a, a I had to run to the bathroom downstairs. I'm going to shit my pants. And, like, <laughs> Addie's, like, I come upstairs and I'm, like, sweating. And she's, like, I, I ate two donuts. And it was on top of the four pops I drank the night before. Oh, that's what I was about to ask you. How many? Four is not too bad for you. No, but it was between, like, a short time period. Like, from, like, 9 to 1 in the morning. And I was playing Madden. <laughs> How do you fall asleep after two fucking four donuts cokes. and four Cokes? Because I was well do a Dude, I just, won, I just won two Super Bowls. So I was fucking beat. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, play Madden. And then I'm, like, drinking this Coke. And I'm all fired up. Get up the next ga- day. Go clean 12. Fucking grab my donuts, come home, eat two of the donuts, hammer them, and all of a sudden I feel like I'm going to shit my pants. And I get real sick and I start sweating real bad. And I'm like, oh, I think there's something wrong with me. I'm like laying there in a fetal position. And like, I hate, like, when I'm laying there, like, and some people are like, what's wrong? You're like, I don't know. I'll be all right. And then they ask you again, what's wrong? And then at that point, I'm like, I may as well get downstairs and try to shit. So I go downstairs. I try, I try to go to the bathroom. Finally, it comes out. I still don't feel that great. I go in the couch. I'm laying in the fetal position, like shaking. I don't know if I'm in like sugar shock or what. <laughs> Diabetic <And> shock. <laughs> Addie starts running the vacuum. Oh my I, god! I'm like, she was like, "Well, you left all these crumbs here last night." I'm like, 
of all times to run the fucking vacuum. I feel like I'm dying right now. She gets what you get for drinking all that pop at night. And I'm like, leave me. I was like, at least I'm not smoking crack. <laughs> and that's why I pulled out the old, at least I'm not smoking crack. That's a, was, good, that's a good one to use. I feel like you go to that well. Oh, any, uh, she, anything. Yeah. Happened, I feel she, like you go to that well a lot with her. Oh, dude! All you. Why didn't you put the pizza away? Like you didn't even eat it all. You could have put it in the fridge. At least I'm not smoking crack. Ain't it better? <laughs> Old pizza's Wait, better than smoking. What do you crack. want me to leave the food out or to smoke crack? Hey, I learned that speech when I was 18. I've been using it ever since. <laughs> dude, the first time Z Bird smoked crack <laughs> was the best time. <laughs> I mean, we all went. See, like, were you I, there behind I, the bleachers? I, I, I was there. This is hard. This is a hard story to tell without without us sounding like pieces of shit. <laughs> Why? Wow. Yeah. Uh, well, Shuli's the only one who like uh, <laughs> enabled him, dude. So like, I'll, yeah, I'll someone tell the story. I'll tell the story. I'll tell all you guys. I'm, I'm all. I'm all. I'm like 18 years old. I'm all liquored up. The I was not with these guys. Like none of like my like my regular friends. I was not with them. We were at like a central football game. I was drunk, getting drunk with like this dude in the neighborhood. Who was like, you know, he, he was a uh, known for doing drugs. You know, what I mean, like he was older than us, and like he was just a known drug guy. So I'm over there. I'm getting drunk. He brings it up that you can get crack. I'm like, sounds like a great idea. So next thing I know, I like get this crack and I like do it. I'm out of my mind, and I'm like, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go run a run. So I like go find where my regular friends are at, and I feel like I'm gonna go smoke crack in front of them. It's gonna be fucking perfectly normal. So I go down there, and I'm like so hammered drunk, and I like take. I asked Shuli to use his bowl. He don't know. No one really knew what I was doing, and I try to put crack in it. And I'm trying. To, like, like first you ask you me like, oh, you, got, yeah, yeah. you got a little bit of weed. I'm like, yeah. What's you know, the weed? That, what's, yeah. what's the weird question for him to ask? To begin with, it's like Zebra was never really looking for like a little bit of weed guy. Well, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, I'm like, like, oh my god, you turn over a new leaf. Good yeah. for you. I'll nope. get, I'll get high with you. Yeah, here, here's yeah. my bowl. Yeah. Here's my bowl. Here's a crumb of weed to block the hole. I didn't realize he was gonna shove a fucking crack rock in there. <laughs> 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 Dude, so Z- Z- Z-Bird's like yeah. pissed demon drunk and can't like like the crack. <laughs> So we still don't it, know it's crack yet. We knew it was crack. We're oh, like, yeah, dude, yeah, we're yeah, all yeah. like, what the fuck is those two white pebbles in there? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and so yeah. he can't light what it. What kind and of Shul- weed is that? just grabs Z-Bird's hand <laughs> and steadies it over the like, crack. Like, what are you doing? You, you, yeah, yeah. you smoke crack right now. Yeah. Do it, do it. Guides him into the crack. <laughs> right. And then our buddy, our buddy Big Naked Joe just fucking, <laughs> fucking manhandles, like man paws me, fucking slaps my face and the crack out of my hand. <laughs> what do you mean it's going to let this dude smoke crack. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, it's too late. He I, mean, went, yeah. I was like, Reno, he finally lit. got it lit. Yeah, 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 right. And then I remember I gave this speech, and it was like, I just started working a job. And I it was, was like, for, remember it was for my dad the first yeah, time. Yeah, it was. I was like, I was like, I was like, I work five fucking days a week, sometimes six. If I want to smoke crack on the weekends, it's nobody's fucking business. And like everybody's looked at me like this dude's gonna be a fucking yeah. I think we were just like, all right, man, you fucking smoke or crack, whatever. You could <laughs> have that bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah obviously you know? I'm not using that bowl anymore. And then 20 years later, I got clean. So well, right, <laughs> dude. The best was, dude. Like I was in college, so like I wasn't working for my dad at the time because I was like, it was probably like my first year in college. But my dad picked him up at Kogo's the next day to get to work. Yeah, on a Saturday. Remember, dude, my dad picked him up and he looked at Z Bird. He's like. We out smoking crack last night or yeah. something? He said that. Matter of fact, I was like, fuck. He was, sure was, boss. Yeah, he was like, dude, I think Did John like, tell you? Right. He just thought I was all hungover. He's like, you look, you're out fucking smoking crack or something. I said, I'm like, damn. That's what he had. One travels. One point of the crack and they already know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. How about uh, we played Neverwood last week? How was it? It was deep. Oh, Neverwood's sweet. I, that's my second time there. Very hard. It's a hard track. That's what we call it up in like the country club. The place. track. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Deese completely forgets about it. He forgets that we're like, and like someone told me to say like, hey, shoot, shoot, shoot this dude a text because like, you know, he'll forget about it. But at the same time, it's, like, it's Nevillewood. He's not going to forget about Nevillewood. Sure enough, he does. So he pulls up to like the range as we're about to tee off. And he was like, does anybody have any golf balls? And we're like, fuck you. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Yeah, I guess, dude. He's like, uh, is that the range right there? I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, cool. Next thing I know, he's just like walking around the range at Nevillewood, just picking up balls. Picking up fucking. <laughs> stealing, like a popper. Yeah, stealing fucking balls. I was like, bro, 
And he's like, these are good balls. I was like, yeah, I know they are. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah they're titleless. Like, well, yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if they're Pro V, but they're they're good right. range balls. This motherfucker just walking around the fucking range, just like stealing balls like that people like topped. Right. And, like, <laughs> the fucking starter was like right there. I'm like, bro. It, yeah. What's he doing? Like, what the fuck? Like, how, he's. I didn't have time. I'm like, what are you talking about? I've been out here for an hour and a half. I put in. <laughs> Fucking walked around. I had a cup of coffee. Like, fucking, what are you pulling so up? So, what? To? He just, like, kind of forgot? Completely forgot. Call, for some reason, Conklin hit him up, like, hey, I'm on the, or he, Conklin put in our front, like, group text that was, like, going that day, like, hey, I'm on the back porch. So, and Deese was like, for what? And he's like, what? Does he have CTE or something? I don't he know. He did that to us the one day. Yeah, the one day, fucking, didn't it, even wasn't, show. it wasn't Neville Wood. It was fucking, what's it called? Victory Hills. Yeah, but he just Deese fucking... didn't show up. Yeah. But we were on the fucking T Boss. I'm like, where are you at? And he's like, for what? I'm like, Never mind. <laughs> yeah, we just the three of us. He you're scaring us. Yeah. Like, yeah. Were you Bro. smoking crack? Right. right. <laughs> what are you doing? Smoking crack all night? Smoking crack, playing with his Oculus. I'm like, dude, if you get caught stealing range balls, that talking. might be a party there. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a party. <laughs> you'd, about, be, uh, you'd be jerking your little baby dick like. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine you'd probably jerk off for a long time on crack. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, it, you can't really get your dick hard. You don't do, like, if, if you literally <laughs> documented what you did while you were on crack and then showed it to someone, they'd be like, this is insane. So you paced around the coffee table 74 times. So you did like 74 laps around the coffee table. <laughs> While this, you like were making up stories in your head how you were going to like come back in life. And then <laughs> along with trying to look at porn on your phone and then like eventually like, scratching in between your toes. Like that's what I did for seven hours while I smoked crack. And you're like, the best part was, you know what I mean? Like the best part was when I jerked off. Well, you but scratched I really, between your toes. Yeah, but you really couldn't even shoot no pudding because like your dick was like an any, you know what I mean? So you're just like fucking playing with your little hamster dick and you're like trying to look at porn. If you don't got great Wi-Fi, you got to like move around. You got to like get close to a window. Like Now you're the crackhead jerking off in the window. Yeah, I didn't, who That's wants to live man. like that? Hard to now believe, can't, I, now can't hard to believe I gave all that up. But it, like, yeah, I was like thinking, like, dude, it's not a good time doing drugs. Like, if you la actually break it down, it's terrible. What'd you do last day? Oh, I tried to jerk off, quit, and I scratched in between my toes, walked around my coffee table, and made up a bunch of stuff in my head. It was, yeah, it was all right. You know. I'm gonna get more crack spend, tonight. Spend six hundred dollars. <laughs> What uh? What about the Steelers? I didn't see any of the game. Oh. I wasn't online too much. Hence the size of this sheet. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't on the old Dude, internet. Let me tell you right now. Week. I, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. There we are. That's all I wanted. You, that's all you had to say. I don't like George Pickens. I love George fucking Pickens. What about old touchdown Kenny? I, Kenny played better than I thought he would. I, I tell you right now, Mason Rudolph had the fucking dime of the night though when uh, he dropped. Mason Rudolph him. had the dime of the night, but he's still a little bit uneasy. He, like, he doesn't make decisions sack. in the pocket. He, he, got he, he probably throws play. the best deep ball out of all of them. We don't got to worry about it. He's on his way to Detroit. That's what I hear. But Mighty yeah. Mitch. They said by the end of the Mighty week for Mitch. who a linebacker. Because Devin Bush has is checked a bum. out. Yeah. Yeah, he's a bum. Money Mitch had that play at the beginning of the game when it was starters versus starters, where they had him in the backfield. He wrestled out of it, rolled right, and fired a dart. I was like, that's a real NFL play right there. Money Mitch is the fucking He was man. reminiscent of a young Big Ben when he and pulled he, out dude, of that. Dude, I said the same thing yeah. as Otto. I was yeah, like, dude. He pulled out of that. And, and it's it, hard. It's hard. It's like Z-Bird's got so much invested in cards. I don't know if he's like really. <laughs> I don't know if he's analyzing the right. game for real or he just got a shitload of He's Trubisky trying to sell cards. you a yeah. Mitch Trubisky. He got him low. He, he wants to sell him high. Yeah. <laughs> he's pushing uh, card propaganda on, yeah. the, uh, on our radio dude, waves dude, right I'm, now. I'm, dude, I'm being honest. I think Money <laughs> Mitch is the man, dude. He looked like. But starter wise, he did. Dude, he's in great shape. I yeah. like, I like Money Mitch. I mean, Pickett had some swag about him. Or Pickens though, dude, yeah. did the AB it, dance yeah. after the touchdown. That boy oh, got so real dog. He got dog. He got dog. Get him! But dude, he's. I it love, all makes sense now. When he was like looking at the TV like a psychopath, <laughs> he's, he's a little not, fucked up in the head. Yeah. But I like it now, dude. He just before, shoved, I, before I was worried about it. He just shoved the shit out of that D bag for no yeah. reason. <laughs> Dude, he like he didn't he shove him. He dude. put him on his ass, he dude. dude his yards. name's Kobe Bryant. Yeah, dude. he yeah. fucking manhandled Kobe Bryant. Dude, I don't know. It wasn't, but it was a, all it was was a push, and he went fucking right. Flying. And but like, it was a backside run. It wasn't even to his side. side. He, he got dog in him, dude. Yeah. He definitely yeah. got, got that, that dog. dog. He dude, dude, I don't know he what's dude. gonna happen after he gets his second contract and he gets a shit ton of money. I don't know, but for now, I'm gonna enjoy. I'll enjoy this season, dude. I would. I'm like trying to grab. 
George Pickens cards, dude. Off hot. Hot. They're hot. Well, there's no pro uni ones. They're all Georgia ones. So, like, I really don't even want them. You know what I mean? But, like, yeah, yeah, for bums. People, are, people are on to Pickens, dude. They're on to him. Dude, he's going to go fucking first round in this draft. Oh, yeah, fantasy. Yeah. He could. Uh, Not first round. He'll probably, he's going to go high. Top three for sure. Top five. Uh, where Devin Bush is, he's just out to lunch. Dude, dude he's out to lunch. They he's, asked him, like, if this is going to be his last chance with the Steelers, he was like, what do you mean? He was there like, do you think this is going to be like your last chance to prove yourself like for like Steelers? He's like, I mean, I'm going to be in the NFL either way. Yeah, he's like, a, he's a, yeah, he's, I'm being in the league anyway. Right, even matter. if it's not in Pittsburgh, I'm going to be in the league. I don't know if you are, buddy. No, dude. not not with that attitude. Dude, he's just, like you said, he's a mental case. He don't like the criticism. Right, and he doesn't. He's not responding well to it. And he's probably he's, dude, yeah. like, he's playing scared. Dude, like I said, I seen a couple like they're not highlights. They're just showing him being flat footed and getting blown. Those by. are called low lights. Yeah, and he, <laughs> he's <getting Yeah>. like, <laughs> right. Yeah, he's under a microscope big time too. Yeah, because, fuck like, yeah, dude. They decline his fifth year. Well, it's dude, like, he's probably bad. Your... He's not getting paid. He's probably worried about getting hurt. It's probably in the back of his he's head. He's wondering if he's going to even start. Yeah, Spillane, he's like, dude, I got this undrafted dude coming up. Well, still dude, in like my Spillane, position. who has <laughs> zero athletic ability, <laughs> is just like trying. He's like Rudy. Dude, it's what, dude, like, yeah, it's just somebody who, like, tries harder. Like, Devin Bush <laughs> is just like. He's like, you're five foot. He's going to be, he's gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Is, if, like,. They need to go to get Smith out of Chicago. You think they will? Ro- 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 Dude, I've yeah, never paid attention more to, to the first preseason game ever. Yeah, I, that's I, what I we agree. Were, yeah, that's I what agree. we were saying down at the beach, too. Like, this preseason isn't, like, just wasteful because, like, you know, got to figure out a quarterback. Right. But, it's, it's nice to see, like, three guys that are, like, you know. All good. Tossing it up there. D- a little, cool. little new blood in there. Old Mason Rudolph got booed. That's kind of jive. Yeah, I up. hate how they treat him, dude. Yeah. What did he do to anybody? I don't want him to be the – quarterback at all but like don't boo the guy he well, dude, then he, dro- he still dropped the dime on the pickens that was a hell of a throw it like, was a beautiful like throw. he said he's still you know whatever dude, my man his Fake. toe like the, he touched his toe in the only spot of the end zone left when you know that before he was out of bounds he said they were going wild for old kenny pickett yeah, there yeah. was Chan Kenny. He, well, he like had like a walk off game. I mean, he had a boner, dude. Pitt- he said all his family was there and they started chanting his name. Tell me that's not boner yeah, material. Right Pittsburgh there. fans like want him to start already. Yeah, they think sure. he's Danny Marino. Yeah. I, I think. Yeah, I mean, I, if it's close, start him. If it's not close, start Mitch. Hey, Mitch, Mitch, is, Mitch is the start. starter. Mitch is the star, hundred yeah. percent. He's gonna start. He's gonna take us to the playoffs in the Super Bowl eventually. <laughs> for a couple years. Get your cards now. Yeah, don't buy them. No, don't buy them now. I'll buy them in a couple months. Yeah, hey, call Z Corp. <laughs> yeah. All right, want to get into some voicemails? These are not they are not pre-approved, so we'll see how this goes. I didn't get a chance to listen to them. Fellas, RJ calling back. First and foremost, Z Bird talking about jerking off too much. Buddy, been there, done that. <laughs> Start getting all sore and swollen up. Looks like your dick's wearing a pool floaty right underneath the helmet there. <laughs> Buddy, been there. Real reason I called. Thanks. Got a what will Greenfield do for you? Pittsburgh lawyer edition. All right. You got Shinderovich, Shinderovich and Fishman, Seidel and Steinberg, and Edgar and Snyder. Now, you got to do coke with one of them, bang hookers with the other, and you got to hire one to get you all out on the case. That includes the lawyers, oh. too. I already know, I already know this. <laughs> yeah, that's that's I've been thinking coke about this all day. Mm. Bring back the heroin hog. Take it easy. The heroin hog. <laughs> what? what? What's a heroin hog? I about a hog. That's fucking yeah, rust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would have 50 guesses. I wouldn't have guessed what the heroin hog was. But uh, is it Edgar Snyder, like one person? Yeah. No, it's Edgar. Associate. He's, yeah. As, as far as RJ said, it's Edgar and Schneider. Yeah, Edgar and Schneider. <laughs> yeah he fucked that all. I mean, he Pittsburgh eased that right but, through that lawyer's name. But that was a good question. I'll give him that. Yeah, I mean, so that's pretty it? easy, though. Shenderovich, right, Shenderovich. Steidel and Steinberg and Egner and Schneider. Yeah, Egner. You got to do couple hey, ones. Got, yeah. Hookers are one and hire one. Exactly. That's easy. Yeah, yeah that's easy. real easy. I already you got Hire Edgar Snyder. You're hired Edgar yeah. Snyder. He's yep. the best lawyer. Coke with Shander. Yeah, you're Shander. doing coke right. with the Fishman. twins. Right. No, yeah. no. See, I was going to do coke with Steidel and Steinberg. And then <laughs> that's six to one, half a dozen yeah. to the other. Shander yeah. and Shander Rovich, I figure, you know what I mean? You can blend those parties. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. It could be. It could be. We'll bring those four in for Make sure Edgar stays home to get some rest. I don't want to hang out with Well, I figure if Shander Rovich and Shander Rovich got to go first. He's definitely got the best reputation as a lawyer, though. Right. So he don't want to be out. Like, you know, he might be feel weird if you're out doing coke and banging. 
fucking whores. I can't. John, <laughs> John I can't see this, John. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Shadarovich got some dog. Yeah. 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 They're like, dude, it's your turn. I went first last time. <laughs> what? Well, are they Russian? No. Shadarovich, Shadarovich, and Fishman. They're both Russian dudes. And dudes are little Russian guys? Yes. No, they're not. They're not Russian. I heard their commercial. They don't speak with an accent. He's like, dude, we are the ones who will only charge you 25%. 100% of coffee. He's like, we have your back, not your wallet. <laughs> Shut the fuck I'm up. I'm telling you. You're running wild with this. They're now little they're Jewish wild. guys. Ain't they're they're like, Shander Rover, Shander fishermen are definitely two Russian dudes. They don't speak. They, they, they don't might have, have a tinge of an accent. Larry, pull it up. They, they might have a tinge of that. It is not straight me. That's way. what I hear. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, I see their commercial. Right. They don't sound nothing like it. All right, everybody comment. Tell me if these motherfuckers are Russian yeah, or not. Yeah, leave a comment. Yeah, leave a comment. Is Rushkies she... or non rushkies if they could be Rushki, but I'm just saying, they don't have that accent. He's like, dude. Have you hung out with them before? I feel like I did. I think we did coke and had prostitutes <laughs> one time. Oh, fuck. All right, up, next boys? call. I feel like yeah. I ate an edible right. now. So I got a grinder. <laughs> we got a new dishwasher. We, we did the kitchen. And one of the settings on this dishwasher is four hours. <laughs> on average, the dishwasher takes around two hours. Now, am I asking too much here to think... That two hours is very fucking long for a dishwasher to take. I mean, I, I, it's new technology. You thought these things would be quicker. The dishwasher I grew up with didn't take, I don't even think, an hour to do the dishes. And uh, even the turbo setting is like an hour on this dishwasher. I was honestly expecting like 20 minutes on the turbo setting. You know, you got the super sanitizer setting, maybe, maybe an hour and a half or something. On average, two hours. Two on the dishwasher. Am I asking too much? Do you think you called the Maytag man? It should be quicker. I don't know. Let me know. Dude, great dude. call, dude. <laughs> we, I just got a new dishwasher like semi recently, and I thought this. He's right. It takes forever. I don't know why. They all take it, forever. I don't know it's why. like mine's like two hours and thirty six minutes. Yeah, mine's. Uh, it well, takes less time to wash your clothes than it does your dishes. Mine take definitely well over two hours. And I was thinking like two, exactly what he said. Like I thought this would take like a half hour. Did those old ones, did we just not give a fuck about the dishwasher? The dishes we were clean. Yeah, like, I don't it think I matter. paid attention when I was younger. Yeah, I just think we didn't give a fuck. That's There's a, no that's way a, it got slower, that's a right? Long, no, they didn't. Like we I got said, an older one. Like at our house, we got an older one. It's quick, and the dishes are... I mean, you got... What's well, quick? I'd say 40 minutes. Okay, really? well, that's way yeah. quicker than I got a new yeah. one. Oh, uh, dude, I got this quicker. really good quick one at my house. It's called Rosa. She washes the <laughs> fuck out them dishes <laughs> quick as but, hell. <laughs> but yeah, like, I know I was like... It, it was like a top-of-the-line appliance like 15 years ago. Like when Addy's parents bought, but it's still like the push button. Yeah, it's supposed to be more efficient. If it's two and a half hours, that's really not efficient. I'll tell you what, if it was 10 minutes or three hours, that shit sit in my dishwasher for <laughs> five days anyways. It really don't you're matter. Saying, you're saying ain't no one taking them, dirt, them clean dishes out, huh? Nope. <laughs> So that not like, till you're totally out. So I have like I have like two jobs to do. At my you're house. the dishwasher. I'm the, the loader and the unloader. That comes as that's one job. I got no. That's three jobs. I'll, I'll sell myself short here. And the garbage guy, I take the garbage out. I take it to the curb and back. So like I, I do that. Uh, and if they ain't done, Laney cracks the whip on us. Yeah, well, he's gonna sit she lays down the law, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, dude. But it does take it, it's 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 really it it's does five take minutes. a while. Kenny's hundred percent right. Oh, I thought you meant downloaded. Oh, five dude, minutes. the the procrastination I used to put in to unloading. It was also my job as like when I was a kid too, to unload the dishwasher as a kid was insane. In reality, it takes seven minutes. If right. That. Yeah, you put way more effort into avoiding so, it than yeah. you do. If just you run it, in, if you run into some like uh, some uh, what's it called. Why can't I think? Tupperware. Some Tupperware. Uh, You're going to throw me off a little bit. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure where that goes all the time. Right. But like the silverware, boom, boom. My shit's all I can't proper. Im- I can't even begin to explain the amount of Tupperware we have. You know what I do with Tupperware? I, there's a, 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 a shelf or like a cupboard above the stove, and I just throw it in there, and I just slam the door. And whoever opens you know, it next, booby, <laughs> it's on you. Not only like booby trapping your problem. family. Yeah. yeah, not my problem. <laughs> Fucking, uh. It's plastic. You want a little, here's, a little, here's a little hint or a tip. <laughs> Throw a little aluminum foil in your fucking dishwasher. Your shit will be shining. Works like a charm. Oh, yeah. Really? Where'd you yeah. learn this wise the old tale? old TikTok, buddy. Really? Oh, man, yep. you learn everything yep. from up TikTok. A little, crumb up a little tin foil. Throw it in what, there. What, what does that, shiny. what does it do, though? Know, something with the aluminum, surely. I didn't fucking read it. You didn't research it. Yeah. Yeah. alloy breaks down and it shines it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded great. <laughs> Where'd you learn that, Shenderovich, Shenderovich, and Fishman? <laughs> hey, guys, Double G. As always, love the podcast. Um, I can't be the only one that's... Oh, yeah? 
This is what material. So I figured I'd give you guys three questions and maybe you can run by Kenny and we can get some, some answers from him. I think this would be great. Uh, the first one is I wonder if he's the type of bus driver who stops when they see someone running to catch the bus or does he speed away and laugh to himself? Uh, second one is I'd be interested in what Kenny's best, best youth sports memory was. You guys talk a lot about your days with the Cougars. Be interested in his, uh, his tails. And third is, at what age did Kenny's balls start to hang lower than his checker? All right, boys. Hopefully we can make that happen. Definitely interested in some more Kenny material. Take it easy. So should Thanks. Kenny have a spinoff show? So we're yeah, gonna... what's going on here? Uh, <laughs> this might be – I don't know if Kenny would be down, but questions for Kenny might be a good live show. If I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. How about Segment this? Here. I mean, I, I'm in We, contact. like, talked about this already. We're, we're in contact with Kenny. He's going to be at the live show. Let's save this for the live show. Kenny, if you're listening, you'll probably hear this when it comes out on out tomorrow morning. Um, it'll be Wednesday morning. We'll get with you. Save your answers. Don't call it in. Save them for the live show. If you want to. If you want to. It'd be, he said he'd be cool with doing some stuff at the live show. Okay. Yeah, because I think I, mean, I think questions for Kenny could go, or I got some questions myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love Kenny. He's Yo, Big John from Virginia <laughs> Beach. I got another fucking gym uh, gear grinder. Now, I go to the gym, oh, dark 30 in the morning, and uh, these young fucking fitness dorks are taking up two and three machines at a time, super setting. I fucking had it. So i just been jumping in, and I'm, I'm just waiting for them to say something. <laughs> Fuck these guys. It's not your own fucking gym. One machine at a time, dorks. Better. Looks like fucking he's out to start a fucking little fist. Yeah, yeah, it dude. seems like they're okay Big with you working ready, in there, Big John. Yeah, yeah, John. They're, they're, he's, he's like, see, I'll tell you what, if anyone at Planet Fitness has anything to say to me. He's like, oh, yeah, he's The saying, thing about call- Planet Fitness is there's no free weights, right? So did all you gotta do is play fitness. No, I'm fucking around. I was joking. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, just saying because then you just gotta move the the thing. No, they got free weights. You're just not like you're not allowed to like drop them and shit like that uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or grunt. But like, yeah, <laughs> you can't be a you can't be a lunk. Is that what they're calling them lunks? Yeah, yeah lunk yeah, free a lunk alert. Yeah, lunk, lunk, lunk alert. alert. Like if you, but dude, yeah, Jack made a very valid point. Seems like they're not fucking with you, Johnson. Maybe just make some new friends, Big John. Yeah, you don't have to go to jail. Say, hey, gym. everyone in Virginia Beach, maybe make a couple new friends. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking pussies who let me work in and wipe the machines down. Fucking one guy brought me coffee the other day. Like, what are you trying to do? Kill me? <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> fucking pussy. <laughs> He's like, I got some dog. Give me a big dog. Got some dog. <laughs> Hey, fellas. Uh, got a question I thought you might give some insight to. I've been thinking about this whole Aaron Rodgers, you know, dick up in a Pittsburgh thing, where he's been, you know, flirting with us over the past year. Is this, uh, is this some kind of dig on uh, Greenfield Mike? You know, I know they had a, a falling out in Green, uh, Green Bay. But now, you know, he's not been part of that picture and part of Aaron Rodgers' life for a while seems to be digging and I'm thinking that he heard Greenfield Mike talking up Greenfield and Pittsburgh all those years and now he's he's acting like oh you're 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 gritty if you're from Pittsburgh type of thing. So I I'm thinking maybe Aaron Rodgers is playing a little chess there. He's he's uh continually taking a dig at Greenfield Mike and nobody knows about it. Now maybe this rumor's been floated out there before, this theory, but I haven't heard it anywhere. So I wanted to get your guys' take, all right? Back. Yeah, I'll give you my take. <laughs> I, 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 I think he just signed the biggest like contract of all time for a two year deal with Green Bay. So like, I think that was just you know he he did flirt with Pittsburgh a little bit. I don't think it had anything to do with Greenfield Mike. But he did say like, he was just on part of my take it recently, and they're like, when you think of grit, what do you think of? And he was like, I don't know where he's like being from Pittsburgh, which is like. He doesn't have any ties here at all besides Greenfield, Mike. Yeah. So, and like, he's been well signed. So it's not like he's still trying to get here no. or anything like that. So it is, I mean, whoever, maybe like, and then, then him and Tom yeah, were him, making eyes at each other right. at, one, yeah. at one time. But like, for him to keep mentioning mention in Pittsburgh and working, it might be like a dig, but he's not taking like shots at Pittsburgh either. Right. He's always complimentary to Pittsburgh. But it's, it's also weird that he is because how much time is Aaron Rodgers? You know what? It must Pittsburgh? be because Greenfield Cougars had those G's like Green <laughs> Bay did back in the day. 
That could have been it. It might have been it, dude. Uh, I don't know. It could be interesting. Uh, yeah, I think there's bad blood there before. I don't think those, those two got along too great. Oh, yeah, I think, I, yeah, I think, I think he was definitely a big part of uh, him getting fired, right? Yeah, for Absolutely. Sure. I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe. Maybe not. Pittsburgh got grit. Yeah, I don't like being called gritty. I feel like that's an underhand like, compliment of like, oh, man, they know how to work a shovel. Yeah, well, I'll take you know it. I mean? like, I, hey, hey, Jack, I ain't good at much, dude. So I'll, t- I'll take <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. The St. Silicon don't, Valley. Don't yeah, you yeah. think grit is like you think? No, it means you're tough. I mean, yeah. you go through hard winters, you get through it, and you deal with it. Means yeah. you, so you don't bitch and moan about you, it, Jack. Means, means you, you drink up. You own a three day bender, and you come back, and you don't bitch about yeah, it. Yeah, it means you drink a couple yeah. beers, smoke some weed, do some coke, and you go back to work. God, smoke crack all night and shove for work in the air. That's fucking grit. That boy got some dog in him. Dude, Zebra called me like literally out of nowhere. He's like, dude, people are saying they got some dog in him a lot. I'm like, do you want to like say it during the show tonight? Like, and he was like. Yeah, I'm like, all right. Knock yourself yeah. out. And then he, like, he's like, all right, I'll talk to you later. Like, that was it. Like, you, you literally call me so you can, like, work in. That boy got some dog in. Like, say as much as you fucking want. Like, well, fuck. I don't know why I think but it's so we're, fucking we're on the better part of fucking six times. This boy got some dog in him. It's not going anywhere. It's, dude, let's, dude uh, I like it, though. The, the, the fucking, that and the grit means you can smoke crack and go to work the next day. Yeah, you know? that's, yeah. Grit. That that's grit. grit. That's grit. That's grit. Aaron Rodgers. That's Fuck. gritty. He got that uptown in him. All right, let's take a break. All right, buddy. We're looking at a real quick commercial break. Come back one more. Greenfield's Finance Podcast. We want to welcome Lotch Remodeling. Lotch Remodeling specializes in interior modeling, mostly floors, some stairs, trim, but not the cooter kind. <laughs> Decks, they don't do nothing on a ladder. But my main man will not fuck your wife. That's the good thing. Bring him over. He's not a real handsome fella, but he'll fix your shit up. So that's Lutch Remodeling, 412-627-5111. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're like me, you probably have appliances in your house. TVs, ovens, dishwashers, microwaves, all types of stuff. That shit's going to break. And when it does, make sure you call Primetime Appliance, 412-896-1395. They deal with all insurance and warranty companies. They do all the work. All you have to do is call 412-896-1395. Primetime Appliance. Give them a call. Man, the other day I went to the hunting supply store and I got a cooter detector and it goes beep, beep, beep. And I'm driving through the side side. Next thing I know, that thing starts going off like crazy. Beep, 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 beep. It took me right into 12 Whiskey Barbecue at 1222 East Carson Street. Man, that cooter detector is the best thing I ever bought. I ain't never seen so much cooter in my life. When I went in there, I couldn't believe my eyes. I never seen so much cooter. I went in there for the cooter, but then I looked at the menu, and the food was delicious. Some of the best barbecue in the burg. Not only that, they had every drink I could ever think of. So 12 Whiskey Barbecue is filled with cooter, barbecue, and good drinks. At 1222 to East Carson Street. Make sure you stop down if you like cooter, barbecue, and drinks. 10-4. Oh, yeah, brother. I just drove past your house and it looks like your wall's falling down. That's not good for business. Because guess what? If that wall comes down, I'm climbing up that hill and banging your old lady. So, yeah, every one of your neighbors thinks you're a giant piece of shit and you can't afford a new wall. Well, guess what? I got a phone number. Now you can. You better call just walls at 412-889-4401 fully insured and build that wall before I come up here and I bang your old lady. Dig it! Hey, what's going on everybody? Z-Bird from Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Right now, if you're sitting in your house and you're gonna go up to the bathroom and you're shitting inside a plastic bucket, you're probably in trouble. Then if you go into your bedroom and there's buzzards flying in because you ain't got no fucking windows, you're in real trouble. Well, guess what? I got good news. Bath factory and window. 412-951-3939. They handle all your bathroom and window repairs. They've been in business for over 100 years, and their great-great-grandfather came over on the Mayflower, and he installed the first shitter in the White House. So you can trust Bath Factory and Window at 412-951-3939. Stop shitting on a bucket and getting eaten by buzzards. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfoot's Finest Podcast. We're about to jump into Corn Dick of the Week. Moneyline, who be corn dicking this week? Little kids. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of corn dicks these days. We had a, a playing game to get into the Little League World Series. Pitcher, this t- this game was televised too, obviously, if I know about it. So it's like, it's to get to Williamsport. Pitcher hits a kid in the head, fucking 
barely, it's all helmets. These kids wear helmets to size. We, we talked about this, we last, last, this week. last week. Did we? Yeah. Yeah, we fucking, <laughs> yeah. some kind of a nerd that little fucking kid was. I'm so upset I hit someone in the head. Yeah, the kid was all I remember all that now. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought I was like, dude, yeah, why, why, did, do, why do don't you read the fucking shit I send you? <laughs> I did. And I'm like, it, it was written differently last time. I'm like, oh, another kid got hit with a ball. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are pussies. <laughs> These kids are pussies. <laughs> dude, I'm like, am I tripping my balls That's up? what I thought. I'm like, maybe I'm fucking losing my mind. Dude, uh, the wheels are falling off That's here. all right. Man, it's all right. We right. talk about your mental case. <laughs> so we got some French activists. They filled the golf holes, uh, golf holes with cement, so no, you couldn't water, water the course. I guess they're in a major drought over there in France, <laughs> and they're, it's like they're fucking worried about the course water and the greens. So they just filled up the holes with concrete. That's they're, fucked up. That is it's fucked, fucked up. up. But I mean, you move <laughs> for one. All they have to do is move the hole. That's. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> move the hole. Easy I mean, fix. They, they do it anyway, right? Am you I right? They the rotate whatever, that it shit. It depends what, what course it is, but they move the hole usually twice a week. So they're going to fucking move that hole. Um, two, they're not putting dry mix in. It's actually mixed up cement, so they're using wasting water also. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, the internet, they were going back and forth with each other on this about, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're doing the same things, and it comes down to this is my take on it. Nerds hate to see people having fun. And when nerds see you having fun in the middle of a drought, they're gonna ruin your fun by being fucking nerds. They That's love it. they love finding a problem of like why you're why you're not miserable. Right. No, no, they they, yeah, they wanna say like you're creating the problem. I'm part of the solution. Yep. It's all That's, it's all pointing the, the finger. Same thing. How could you <laughs> golf? How could you dare golf in the middle of a drought? And it's like, dude. They, they're golfing. He's selling the water. Off. I don't <laughs> right. know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck it, dude. Let them golf. I mean, I, I don't know what that proved. Like I said, all you got to do is move the hole. I mean, you know what I mean? Be you're little, lucky they didn't get fucked up. I be mean, a little conscious of it. Maybe, like, cut back on the water a little right. bit. You let the course dry out. But, like, you still got to water. You got a business to run. You still got to water. Keep the greens course. looking good. Maybe, yeah. like, let the rough dry out. Not and we don't even know. They could have been like, hey, we're just going to water at these times. Like, a little bit. You know, they could have cut that, back. Yeah, that's a lot of effort. To, you know, I mean, you go out to the course and like, you know, it was, it was fun. I think they were, they were. It was more of a statement than it was like going to do anything to stop them watering the course. It was more of like drawing attention to their cause. Sounds like you're on the side of the nerds. Yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah. <laughs> I was there, man. We got a you class action lawsuit <laughs> coming up. <dude. laughs> right. Where were you guy. two weeks ago in France? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I cannot believe I put that on there. Yeah, I can't believe you ran through <laughs> that again. I can't believe I put that I on there. Say, like, is this and I fucking... started reading it. And then I looked at you and like I just had a flashback. And I was like, that was some weird deja vu. It yeah, wasn't right. deja vu because it happened six days ago. <laughs> seven Literally. Days ago. Yeah. Jeez, I'm worried about DC's brain. What about mine? Well, at least you're sitting here. You made it. Yeah. Yeah, you, at least you didn't say, oh, I forgot. You got that I, grit, I'm texting dog. you at 8 o'clock. Jack, where that, are you? I do got that grit. This is grit. This is a <laughs> definition of grit. Right, fighting through it, baby. Fighting, yeah, that's fighting it, man. through your life, you know, forgetting shit, writing shit down. You fuck up, you know, the pod. You just keep grinding, dude. So <laughs> you got that dog in him. got that dog. Seven. <laughs> 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 so what will Gritty do? <laughs> oh, come on, Gritty. <laughs> we, uh, don't start calling me Gritty. <laughs> I'll fucking walk out of this fucking place and never fucking come back. <laughs> and somehow Gritty sticks. <laughs> I think you just that's made it stick. That's not a threat. I think you just that's, made it stick. That's a fucking problem. Oh, and people start calling in like, hey, tell Gritty. <laughs> dude, gritty ain't going to be doing this anymore. Oh, uh, dude. Calm yeah, down. you're not a team player, on, Gritty. Man. We're all Dude. friends here. <laughs> I got you in Pro V1s. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty My sweet gift. I do grit. appreciate it. Uh, designer vagina surgery double in 2022 because women are self-conscious of their camel toe and leggings. Wait, wait. Did you say designer? Yeah, that's what they it's, call it. They're dude. calling it design. We should get a Gucci pussy. That's what it sounds like. Dude. <laughs> they're just, they're that just might be a bad out. idea. <laughs> yeah. They're sucking in the... the, the wait, what is that? Meat. Louis Vuitton? I get, yeah. Reconfiguring yeah. the labia. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. They're trimming the labia. Yeah. Get, 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 get out the scalpel. It's taking an inch off of her bat wings. <laughs> <laughs> when they say trim the fat, they weren't joking, you know? 
But like leggings <laughs> been along for like a, a been around like a long ass time at this point. Like with all of a sudden, like girls are getting self conscious about their camel toes. I'm we've I'm, been staring at fucking camel toe you? for a better point for fourteen <laughs> That's years. What I mean. <laughs> Dude, there's so there's up. so much stuff women can do anymore. And they just, yeah, one does it, and the one's like, I right. need that. Right, like, dude, like, but, yeah, dude, like, yeah, I guess if you want to pull that thing out, you know what I mean? Like, like, but yeah. you get those, did you get those pinned back? Like, yeah. It looks great. Yeah. It looks great. But I feel like girls, like, brag about their fat pusses, don't they? Do they? Yeah, I think I don't so. Know. You think you get together, girl? Really? Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. I've never like, had damn, a she got that fat ass. Is that like, <laughs> so like, you're saying that's, like, not frowned upon in the woman? I don't know, like. Like, if you got, like, dude, you see you're how big her lips are? bigger the lips, the better, like, they want, the beefy lips are in. As long as everything's inside, <laughs> if they got some fat lips, that's, I mean... That's, no, that's the problem. Yeah. It's outside. That's right. like a camel toe. <laughs> Hence well, the name camel toe. No, no, like no, elephant no. ears. Elephant no. ears. No. You get it look like a camel toe if everything's still inside. <laughs> yeah. If you drip the... Fu- I mean, you're not avoiding the camel toe if you rip your yoga pants and it's up your slit. Yeah. How can you avoid He's that? Say yeah. <laughs> I'm saying if it looks if like... If everything's you, inside, you know... If everything's inside, so I So you're think, saying like a meaty... Like top half, I'm not conv- the, I'm the, the, the elephant right, ears. Right, not the stuff from the inside yeah. coming yeah, out. I, I know. We're just talking about the meat drapes. I'm yeah. saying if they just got a little slit, <laughs> not the that's bat okay. Wings. That's what they want. Yeah, they just don't want it. Yeah, they don't want it to look like a fucking like a right. like bat wings, <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, a, like a fucking gyro stand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Christ. laughs> that pussy got some dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That pussy is gritty. (laughs) Dude, my brain's just like not working. I'm like trying to think. I'm trying to turn the page here and I just can't. (laughs) Stop laughing. Oh, fuck. AB is out of his fucking mind. Zebra, you want to read that? (laughs) I can't read. A lot of people probably heard this quote, but here we're going to read it again. This is coming directly from AB's mouth. My biggest regret in my career doesn't involve me calling my GM a cracker or showing up to a Raiders camp late in a hot air balloon with frozen feet or throwing rocks at a UPS driver. And that definitely doesn't involve taking my shirt off and doing a victory lap around the Jets stadium mid-game while throwing up deuces. My biggest regret is that I'll never get to see me, Antonio Brown, play a game live. Sure, I can watch film after the game, but I can't imagine what that was like for all of you to see something like that. Like watching the Beatles or Jesus perform at Red Rock. <laughs> That's no. A.B. on his biggest regret. Dude, Jesus, when he performed at Red Rock, he killed it. Dude, it was one of the best performances <laughs> ever. If I could like think of a place where I want to see Jesus, Red Rock's would be yeah, like, That's literally it. Great acoustics. <laughs> like, hey, like, where's Jesus going? Like, like oh, he's going down the paint can. Like, oh, I'm good down there. <laughs> yeah. I'll fly out to Colorado, though. Yeah. Yeah, if he's smashing Red Rock, I'm yeah. if, he's, if he's going from Coachella to Red Rock, I'm going to see Jesus. <laughs> yeah. get- I don't want to see Jesus at the post gazette Pavilion. Fuck no. You know what I mean? He's like, dude, Jesus. No, he Jesus, can't rock Red Star Rock. Lake. That's a show like you ain't going to want to miss. I mean, do you think this is a real quote? I think he, he yeah. said 100% it was. 100% a real quote. Didn't he confirm it? Because I thought it was fake, too, because that's too well, it's too well written. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had someone proofread that. Yeah, it sounds like I mean, seriously. He He's a fucking man. He could have just said it. I, 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 don't, I bet you, I, honestly, he might not. I don't know. He definitely had it on his Twitter. He could have cut out, like, the first, like, four sentences of that, like, you know, my biggest regret isn't like calling my GM. But a that cracker. wouldn't be that wouldn't he be on just brand. Said, like one of my biggest regrets is like not seeing myself play. And, like, right. What? Like, you know, he's just. A I nut, like that he. Pro- I think he probably. I, like th- I think he probably owned it because he probably thinks it's funny. Because I, I don't like think, that he reminded I don't think he everybody that he called anymore. his GM a cracker. I yeah, I, totally I, like, I like that he brought that, that up. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way he gets on a team this year, right? No, uh, I'm pretty uh, sure he's done. He's done. There, I don't know. I heard the Cowboys. The Cowboys. You know what? I like it. Keep that up here for fantasy football. Late, late, late rounds. I mean, AB got that dog in him. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, gotcha. laughs> Pickens doing the fucking AB dance was pretty sweet. Fantastic. They're all. I mean, that, what is that, that dance called? The AB. It's the AB, but like, what's AB's song when he's like doing that like little weird dance? Yeah, we do, Get, do that shit. The song is terrible. I know that. I don't know, man. He's been putting some pretty big shows together. Yeah. He got rolling around. He got bars. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Uh, brother in arms. Girl believes she God gave her herpes to turn her life around. She said she's never been happier. Okay, that's I mean that's great, but getting herpes in like 2022 ain't so bad. Getting her- herpes back in like 2008 
you know, 2006, <laughs> that's when shit was real, dude. <laughs> when they could barely suppress that shit. Now it's just like take a little pill for a little bit. Yeah, it's that's what separated away. the men from the boys. <laughs> yeah. Dude. John, what year did you get herpes? <laughs> I don't get general herpes, but I do. I do get this chin herpes every so often, like every four the old years. The fever blister. Yeah, look like you got burned That's a in form a fire. Of herpes, I'm told. Uh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Put my face in the wrong place. <laughs> I end up a little chin herpes. <laughs> Big deal. But it's, it's just crazy. Like what makes people you gritty. Makes you gritty. <laughs> you if you're from Pittsburgh, you don't got a chin herpes. Yeah. yeah. Are you even gritty? Yeah. yeah. Are you gritty? Are you from that's Pittsburgh? That's to put your chin up in that meaty labius. <laughs> 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 Rubbing on them bat wings. <laughs> <laughs> the rise of anal sex is destroying anuses throughout by the thousands throughout the world. By the thousands. Like, you yeah. Say. By the thousands. <laughs> Buttholes, Holy fuck. Buttholes are getting That's fucking. That's a lot of O-ring. And they, when you set me this. And they said, and they said it's worse for women, too, because men have, like, stronger buttholes. They could like, take the pounding and shit like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> what like, I hear. Women, like, bang, <laughs> like, anal, <laughs> anal sex for women is, like, I think relatively new. It's a newer thing. Definitely more popular than ever. You've never seen European porn? Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think it's a good way they do it. People have always been. I mean, I'm, yeah, not, I'm not. I'm not really into that. They were BFing for yeah. centuries. No. Be honest. Yeah, they have, but I feel like <laughs> it's definitely like more popular now than ever. I th- I th- it's I not. Like, it's just more uh, accepted. Talk, yeah, I or, think more or, people or the, talk in, about it. Like people getting butt fucked for a long time. Yeah, I, I mean, thank God I didn't. Yeah, I mean, there's. I don't know if there have because these women's anuses are falling apart. Maybe, well, they, I mean, so maybe they're doing maybe it like they, a little too much. Maybe they agree like safe sex. They don't want to get pregnant. Maybe you know they're trying to protect their labias. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Faber, like, you this love thing's anal already sex. beat What's up. That? You love anal sex. <laughs> My butthole's not the one that got replaced, buddy. <laughs> 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 uh, he got an aftermarket butthole. <laughs> I said it's not even the right color. <laughs> I said men's butthole were fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a big butthole. He was like, guy. dude, give me that why butthole do, with why the extra tread. Why do you think tread. it is? Why, why are dudes pounding? I mean, why? Why? I mean, not all girls are. Yeah, like why are girls? Well, actually, why are girls? Dudes will do anything. Right? Stick their dick yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, like any port in a storm. Is that I, why it's in songs now? I think yeah, people talk about BFing each other I, in songs. I got I got a theory. I think that there's way more root greasing going on yeah, now yeah. than ever before in the history of time because I think chicks take better care of their buttholes. So it's a lot easier to grease a root now. Well, I yeah. think guys say, are getting their butts licked more than ever, too. Yeah, right. Pink, pink guys, guys on the rise you, nationwide. You, 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 yeah, guys are taking care of their assholes, too. But I'm saying, <laughs> you go back to, like, look, let's look at film 30, 40 years ago, porn. You don't even know where the ass was at. <laughs> I mean, you really don't. Did you ever see how hairy some of them girls No, you're ball? talking about the like, early, like late 70s. There's late a lot 70s. of hair. I, 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 yeah, when I was younger, I watched you're porn. You're not greasing that root. No, no, I'm, I'm not greasing. I'm not sticking my face in that hairy no, fucking ass. You're not even a fucking chin I'm, I'm not even in the coos, dude. Yeah, that yeah. Yeah. You're going to get a brush burn on your eyebrow. Yeah. That muff used to wrap around for sure. That yeah, they call like, that fur underpants. They're like, yeah, they, it's like they never heard of trimmers back then. They were just like, let this shit grow. Yeah, you either had a straight. This is how God made me. Yeah. All natural. Dude, the days of Straight razor in your pubic hair. Oh. Those were dangerous times. No, dude, living on the you, edge. Your nuts were like you were shaking, shaving <laughs> yeah. your hair. Like, you couldn't even shave your nuts because they shriveled so little. You're well, like, that, was, you you, that would be better if they did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of, yeah. If they would shrivel up, it would be a much easier <laughs> case. If they were hanging, you're you, in you big had to trouble. open the freezer. Dude. Yeah. When I was in jail, I was reading at Maxim magazine. I remember it told me I kept this trick with me. It was like shave your nuts as soon as you get out of the shower because they shrivel up. You know what I mean? But I didn't care about how hairy my nuts were in jail. You know? yeah, right. yeah, I always but like to do it before you get in because it cleans it up. Cleans it up, right. They Make that mess all over. The, dude. But, but like, <laughs> even at that the manscaped nicks. hole, like, I still nick it up with that. Yeah, There's just a lot of wrinkles. And it says it's nick yeah. free, but yeah, that's false advertising. You got Oh, well, you, the, I like that tight shade, yeah. though. Especially <laughs> on my scrotum. I like it right to the fucking Especially skin. Especially on my scrotum. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a lot more root greasing than root ponded. Root ponded, <laughs> is, it started back in the, in the beginning of time. Yeah, they yeah, since, fucking, since they had buttholes. Yeah, as soon as the buttholes came out, they were getting pounded. Uh, we have a guy who's dating a chick. She doesn't shave her legs at all. Super hot. Girl won't shave his legs. He doesn't know how to bring it up. That's just, that's just like that's disgusting. definitely you just you know stop you her. You just her. Like, shave your fucking yeah. legs. Yeah, dude. literally. Yeah. And then get your asshole while you're at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, you <laughs> wondered why I haven't greased your. You, just buy, yeah. you buy like a spa package. 
Like, yeah. Oh, you like, dump her. Wait, you dump her. You wait. dump her quick, There's kid. like a wax. Do they shave legs and No, don't wax you. No, wax your legs. For real? Yeah, it takes yeah. forever. I mean, yeah, if she has yeah, to shave her legs, her armpits are hairy. Yeah, maybe she her goes there and, them, and them girls are so appalled by what they see. Like, oh. Honey, you want me to get these for you? It, if like if, if she that's one of them things you gotta talk to her. I mean you just gotta bring you gotta up. sit her down. Hey, you, better, you gotta hey. shave your legs. But but like hey, like why to, are you doing this? Yeah, what well, is it like a stance on being a woman? Right, that but is, what I'm saying is the the legs. If she's not shaving her legs, that's the least of your oh, issues. I know, but I'm well like, that trickles up, dude. Right. You got fucking hairy bungalow, hairy vag, armpit hair. She probably got like a, a chin whisker. I mean, yeah. how hot? Now, how hot would she have to be to He's where saying you look? She's real hot. Pretty fucking hot. Well, I mean. What, I don't the, think I could handle like hairy legs. Nah, I hear you. She's like rubbing next to you in bed. Everything else is shaved. Everything else is knocked down accordingly. How hairy are we talking? Like my legs? We're talking about I my, just trim we'll mine, say, so mine are yeah, bad. We'll say my legs. So. Your, your legs ain't bad. I can deal with that. <laughs> You're saying you can get your, you can no, get your joking, hips in between them legs? Dude, I'll tell you what. These are nice tanned up. The calves are look. Look at them calf muscles, surely. Oh, I don't know. That's a nice yeah. looking look, leg. You, you see calf little... muscle there? You check that. Oh, I just cramped up. Ah. I don't know, man. Just like I think you probably get used to it pretty quick, <laughs> but like just feeling all that like yeah, leg hair that's a lot of hair. Like, rough, uh, uh, do you feel it though? Like if your legs rubbing against hers and you have hairy legs, do you feel the other hair? I, I don't think. know. My wife doesn't have hairy legs, so mm. I, I don't know. No, how to... but you're asking if girls feel feel our hairy legs. Yeah, they have. To. No, I'm saying if, like, if you two, both have hairy legs, legs. Dude, like do I feel it if I rub oh, my legs right. together? You know. might not. It might be a little comfortable. Maybe a little. It might soft. be warm. Yeah. I mean, in, in the winter, winter I could get it. Yeah, in the winter it'd be all right. But she puts you in a fucking headlock, though. You know what I mean? Her pit hairs on your gizzard. You know what I mean? I'm like, Ugh. yeah, she's giving you a nookie with that her fucking armpit. That would bother me more than anything. Would be the armpit hair. Pit hair. That's would be gross. Tough, dude. So gross. Yeah. I used to have a neighbor. She would come out and she would be like, oh, stretch it. Like, oh my god. Like, yeah, that's. I feel like your that's armpits look like my. Armpits. They got armpit hair and there's like little white balls from their. That, yeah. Yeah, she probably used like there. a salt stone. That's the and, and that's part <laughs> of the, like we. You get the great thing comes along with this is like no more bras, but then it's like some of them are gonna quit shaving their armpits. <laughs> Do you think it's a great thing no more bras? I'm okay with it. I mean, there's an if age limit. The there's happier. an age limit on no bras. Do you like the bra, Jack? You're old school. I kind of like the bra. You like the pointy one? I, no, I just I just like it. <laughs> Keeps everything together, keeps everything up. You know, I mean, some, after a certain age, you, you, uh, a bra can't go around with, like braless. You know, your titties are they fucking will. hanging. I mean, they can. They don't shave their legs That's either. That's what I mean. Who you get past a judge? certain point. Like, I don't know. Put, should, a, put a bra on. Yeah. Yoga pants, no bra, should have age limits. <laughs> yeah. Down in Florida, everybody, everyone's in a thong There's bikini. no age, there, there's no age limits. You would have been there. appalled at Ocean City. There really wasn't nothing. <laughs> not, there really wasn't nothing even like crazy going on, but like. It ain't like the hottest chicks in the world are wearing these thongs. Thongs all no, the time. No, it's the ones looking Sometimes craving attention. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. I don't have kids, but uh, if my daughter busted out a fucking no, I wouldn't be happy about it. No, like what age? Like you get wait till you're. I, I don't know. Wait till you're not at the beach with me. Yeah, right. right. You, wait, wait for your first senior. When trip. you move right. out of bust my house, that, and don't out. you dare post a pic where I can see the top of your ass. Right. No. Yeah, you, yeah. Wait till you're wait till you're in college, then do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, but that's still like uh, we probably sound like we're a hundred years old yeah. too. But <laughs> we just turned forty. Everybody's forty on this <laughs> podcast. Now. Uh, bad news for Z-Bird. This is probably why your stomach hurts so bad. Capri Sunrise <laughs> recalled thousands of pouches because there could be cleaning solution. I call them Capri Sunrise. Yeah, Capri Sun. Recalls thousands of pouches because they could have cleaning solution. Yeah, that's that's a tale as old as time. I mean, there was only, <laughs> there was only the wild cherry, which doesn't even. Um, so if anything tastes like fucking cleaning solution, it is the wild cherry. Right, so it's not even a big deal. It, Just touch a bleach. <laughs> no like big the, deal. The, three, the, the kind you get at Costco is the kiwi, strawberry, fruit punch, and the Pacific cooler. So, like, you specifically can only get these from smaller grocery stores. So, I wouldn't. Even, What's your go to, Michael? The Pacific cooler. I like far, the Pacific is, cooler is, is myself. By far the best, but like. When I, they showed how it was going on, like I'm surprised it don't happen more often. And it probably does, and people just don't realize it. Well, they, it's like so many people have to die before they issue well, a look, recall. It was like people complain. I read the article. What it was, people were calling it, or they were emailing in with complaints after complaint after complaint, and then they narrowed it down. It was the wild. It was only wild cherry. Dude, that sounds like a class action lawsuit waiting to happen. Surely. I know. I was drinking them. Dude. I haven't <laughs> felt so good lately. I got a receipt from Costco. <laughs> yeah. I got, yeah, I would need to go to like some like like Giant Eagle and just go buy the wild cherry. That's where I got them, dude. Yeah. There's this there's this cherry bar spray, you know, clean the bar with that's been around like forever. 
It smells just like wow cherry fucking Capri. It's the same Sons. thing. They yeah. make it the same fucking thing. And I always said, like, dude, that, like, this is drinkable. I mean, it was, it was poison, but it was definitely, <laughs> it definitely drinkable. It would taste great, though. Uh, Dakotas Crawford got an NIL <laughs> deal. He's a senior in high school, and his, his name's Dakotas, and he got an air conditioner deal, and that he made a good. commercial, and it's fucking awesome. It is. He was like, I never God get hot because I'm the coolest, and because it, it, and then I call whoever the fuck you call SOS, it. yeah SOS, it, right? yeah. and then I was like, this is the coldest got a fucking bright future, like he's in air so in, in any a, type HVAC, of, any um, type of cooling, yeah, unit. yeah, he got a big future in the HVAC community <laughs> for sure. Yeah. He's a big hit. I mean, dude, I wonder. I'd lo- like on, on. I'd like to know how much he got. You know, he's only still in high school, so he'll be getting a lot. Well, more he's like 17, now. 18, maybe. Yeah. He's Killing. going. To, where's he going to college? Lincoln. No, he goes to high school. That'd be Lincoln. Nebraska. He's probably yeah. talking about playing in. Yeah, he, he, I don't think he, I don't know if he's committed yet. Or I think he's like an Alabama getting, kid. Yeah, or I think he's a big. Yeah, he's top. definitely. Big he's like a top five. Yeah, oh. I think he just like. I think he might have switched up high schools. Like one of those moves, like halfway through. Type so he's that good. That it's yeah. like, yeah, you're going somewhere. <laughs> it was like the funniest was the comments underneath, and it was like mostly like. Dakota's his mom. I told you this shit was gonna pay off. Like who laughing now, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> no one. What's your son's name? Dakota's. Ha ha ha. Eighteen years later, just got a check for fucking. At least for my son. She got the name. best air conditioning unit in the fucking county. Oh yeah. She. <laughs> she I mean, Dakota's is a fucking great name. Like who's that? Like that's the coldest. That is a great name. The cold. People were like, "Oh, sure, I'm naming my kid." Yeah, people are gonna come Mercedes. up. He's like, "It's corny." Yep. The coldest, <laughs> the coldest is really the only one you can use, or the, the hottest. You know what I mean? The hottest for yes. the furnace. Yeah, the you furnace get a fire, good furnace guy. The hottest, but like the coldest was the first. I like it. Uh, an old Greenfield fireman has a story about going to a fire back in the day, and he asked like the two kids his name, and the one kid she said it was like. Shativa or Shativ Hay or some shit like that. And the other dude was Lemongelo. And he was like, Well, how do you spell those? And it was shithead and lemon jello. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Shit. Like yeah. literally like S- Sh- I- I- Shafid. Yeah, Shafid. Like they literally like took the eye out or something like that. So it read like shithead pretty much. And then yeah. like Lemongelo was just lemon jello. <laughs> name your kid lemon jello. It's fine. It's your kid. You can name whatever you want. Is That's it lemon jello? If you want to make up words, jello. you make up words. But if old Lemongelo would have fucking been good at football, he could have had a fucking jello deal. So yeah. Yeah. No. F- yeah. Fuck Bill, Cros- or Bill Cosby. He'd have been the fucking. Uh, Jello pop guy. Uh, Draymond Green had a blunt rolling station at his wedding. Never seen it. Looked pretty sick. Dude. I seen it, dude. It, <laughs> it was like you. You ever been to a wedding where they like roll cigars, cigars for yep. you? These were like the hootiest hoots of fucking cigars. They were like dime sized blunts with wrappers on them, like six inches long. They were awesome. And they had this dude just sitting there breaking up weed. Dude, and another dude just twisting them. It is cool as fuck. I thought it was cool. I don't even smoke weed or not, but like I thought it was. The the comments underneath were insane of like how people were like he's a professional athlete and he's doing this like how far fucking behind have you just got on the internet <laughs> yesterday they fucking legalized weed you fucking <laughs> nitwit everyone nitwit? smoking weed Did you call me nitwit? yeah, yeah. Dude, NBA don't test for weed yeah. no more I don't even know if the NFL does either it's it was crazy I don't, I don't know I if like, they do dude. or not I don't know if they got that in the new CBA that the thing is crazy to me is Draymond Green got married yeah because he was a big uh, strip club guy. Well, you could be married to be a stripper. He's gonna get that all up, or no? That's just part. You know, like, listen, I make fifty a year. <laughs> Deal with it. You're married. You go to the strip club twice a no, week. No, I don't. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Jack's all over me today. Push, push, what did I do to you? Push, <laughs> push that narrative that Johnny just hits yeah, the strip make, club twice. Yeah, a week. make that the fucking title. <laughs> call me gritty. All right. Call, I didn't, call, I didn't call, call you gritty. Oh my you. god, they were down. <laughs> I'm the only one who didn't call you gritty. Be calling you titty. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do after this? <laughs> it is my birthday. You yeah. know what? They got a great fucking buffet down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a break. All right, but we'll take a quick march break. We'll be right back with more Greenfield Finance Podcast. I don't know about you, but I ain't got time to be packing boxes and moving stuff all the way around the tri-state area. I just don't got time for it. But I gotta move. What am I supposed to do? Thank goodness I find out about Miracle Movers. 
fully bonded and insured, serving the Tri-County area. And they go long and short distance. I just find out they do commercial delivery, too. That's Miracle Movers at 412-419-2620. 412-419-2620. And tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It looks like spring's right around the corner, and them construction projects are popping up. Well, make sure you call Allen Construction, 412-954-8337. Licensed, insured, fully bonded, and they've been around for over 65 years. Make sure you call Allen Construction, 412-954-8337. Get the job done right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I don't know if you've ever had a problem like me, but if you've ever stuck your dick in the light socket, you're probably going to need an electrician. Well, good thing Greenfield Finest Podcast has Plug Electric as our official electricians of the Greenfield Finest Podcast. If you're looking for a good electrician, contact Plug Electric. Ask for Vance Hall, phone number 412-298-6770. That's 412-298-6770. And stop sticking your dick in the light socket. Hey, what's going on, everybody? You're probably looking outside your house right now, and it probably looks nice. Well, maybe it looks like shit. If it looks like shit, call 412-521-9045, Rosado and Sons Landscaping. And guess what? We just don't do landscaping. That's right, folks. Do you have some concrete outside? It's looking weathered. Maybe your back deck looks like shit. Are you sick and tired of looking outside and seeing shit, shit, shit? Well, did you know that Rosado & Sons also does pressure washing too in free quotes? So call 412-521-9045. It's very affordable and reliable. Make sure this summer get all your projects done and call Rosado & Sons 412-521-9045. Don't hesitate. You'll be late. What's going on, everybody? It's almost that time of the year where you got to go get your sidewalks or your steps fixed. And I don't trust a lot of these idiots out here right now. I really don't. Thank goodness Giuseppe and Sons is in the area, and they're always on the job. If you're looking for any type of masonry work this season coming up, please call Giuseppe and Sons, 412-421-6711. And make sure you tell them Rocco sent you, huh? Hey, if you're looking for a fun night out in the south side and you don't want to get punched in the face... Check out Finn McCool's at 1501 Carson Street. Go there, have a good time, and don't get punched in the face. Finn McCool's, 1501 Carson Street. And tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. We're about to jump into what's grinding our gears. Johnny, what's grinding them gears? All right, this is pretty basic thing in life is the screen door. I, I, I can't keep them from, like, not getting totally destroyed at my house. People leave them open all the time. The bugs come in, and if I shut it, then I'm constantly shutting it, and then a kid will just blow through it and knock it off the tracks. And it's just—it's hard to keep a screen door. It's, it's, Even like the, no kids, like screen doors are like—they're tricky. Wait, you're talking about the sliding one in the back. Yeah, yeah. My daughter ran right through it. The one—it wasn't just your daughter. Though. <laughs> she like ran right through the screen. It, it wasn't and no, because it's dark and I mean, it's every, at night. Every kid's fucking took yeah. on a, a right, screen. Right, because door. that's the thing—you either gonna leave it open so people don't break it because they break. Yeah. yeah, that's not even the people's fault. It just break. And then there's a million bugs in your house. And if you shut it, then you have kids running seventy miles an hour through your door, blowing it off the hinges. And it's just, dude, they're just I, a thing to made to be to aggravate you. <laughs> they're disposable. I, yeah, and the, but they're not cheap either. No, no, no. but they, they should be disposable. Yeah, they should be like, yeah. yeah. I was bartending, uh, like, I, I used to work for this catering company, and I would bartend, uh, like, houses. This, I think we're out in Fox Chapel or some shit. We're big-ass fucking mansion. They only wanted us down in their basement. So, like, the lighting, it was fine, but, like, their back patio, like, there was, like, a light out or something like that, and that's where I had the cooler, and that's where I had to get ice. So there probably had to be, I don't know, 60 people downstairs in this basement. I was the only one bartending. So I was, like, in a hurry. I, like, grab my bucket, go to, like, run outside, <laughs> think the door's open, run into this screen door so fucking bad. The bucket had, like, water on it, like, in it, you know what I mean? Because it was, like, all melted. It wasn't, like, a – it was a big bowl. It wasn't, like, yeah. it was what I was serving out. That's what they gave me. I fall on the ground, and it spills on my chest in front of everybody. Like, oh, my God, are you okay? Broke the fucking screen door. And you just want to leave? And I was, like – I mean, I could use a light, and they're like, oh, it's burned out. Like, so I didn't get my ball. Like, people, like, knew. Like, you couldn't see the fucking screen door. Like, it was pitch black. It right. Was, uh, it was just open. But I, like, I had, like, screen prints on my face like a little kid <laughs> when they, like, hit it. You had, like, like a I, brush burn I, on your mook? I mean, I was 
roughly the size they am now and just like went head on with a fucking screen door in front of like a bunch of people. They, it was it was a disturbance. You think they come the up least. with something new like put some yeah. like you know, LED Dude, lighting they're, they're through that? They're a little bit the screens are a little bit tougher than when I was a kid. Yeah, because when I was a kid, there was always a hole in the door. Yeah, you run right, right through. It was like usually the lower like, corner. Yeah, or like where my dog would stick his nose in, there would be like just like a hole right there. But now like that part doesn't break as much. So like when the kid the kids won't go through the screen, they'll just knock the whole thing will just come yeah, up. off the track. Yeah. Yeah, it's, screen it's, doors are tricky, man. They should almost make like a magnetic thing going like across. a breakaway. Yeah, I have. So I bought one of them. I have exactly the net exactly, screen. Yeah, I, I I, yeah it's a piece of shit. It's terrible. <laughs> Fuck, it, it's not it, as w- advertised. No, at it, all. It, it, the magnet holds or the sticker holds for about a week, and as soon as you get any type of water, it's as soon as it's, it's humid out. Yep, it's done. Right. It's like the damn bugs. Like, like, what could you do to keep these bugs? I mean, there's no really. There's We're no good, there's no good answer. We're gonna need Dude, the screen. When you got a dog and you got a fly in your house, it, it's pandemonium. Does you your dog that chase bucket, the fly uh, everywhere? Everywhere. That, my dog does the same thing. It's I think like, every dog in the world does. It's like, dude, it's ten o'clock at night. Like, please, and everybody, I'm, stop. I'm running around in my underpants, all high on weed, like a turn, psychopath. Turning this light Tra- on, turning that light to off. Trying to fucking kill a bug. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nuts. Dude, if there's a fly in my house, dude, I'll track him till he's dead. <laughs> they well, drive so, me nuts. I mean, dude, let's I'm, I'm as bad as the dog. Don't get it twisted. I told I told the story about me barehanding a fly a couple weeks ago. So like, it's not. Yeah, everybody gets a vendetta. Yeah, no, it's not safe to be a fly in my house. See either so let's just put you on I'm the best fly I'm killer saying I, I probably am <laughs> <laughs> I probably yeah, am I mean oh like, a, like you a, go, a, he'll be <laughs> that do, do you go swatter I'm a swatter you have like an in-house uh-huh. swatter I need an no, in-house the best swatter. thing I got that like the tennis racket that's like electric, yeah, electric. I've heard about these yeah, it's those nice are, those it's, are like, all, it's kind of like they're good to have cheating. it as an adult but like when you like it's we cheating ha- it's definitely cheating but you it's like you kind of get into it wait like, a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. so you can like go outside with this thing and just electrocute all kind of bugs anything you anything want anything you want John <laughs> that was a problem like I had one of them we like lived in a college house together and like anytime you would take a nap someone was electrocuted and they hurt like it'll leave a mark yeah. if you, it'll burn if you, you do it bit. it'll leave a mark for I don't, sure yeah I don't want that but it takes like two D batteries like <laughs> like a cop's flashlight yeah, you know what like, I mean like, they burn out within like a week yeah, yeah. well it depends if you're killing grasshoppers or gnats <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean if you're frying up fucking <laughs> yeah. you just walk right. around the backyard just like just practicing swinging, your backhand just like, swinging dude I'd I'm, I'm, I'm probably be so good at racquetball <laughs> just from killing fucking bugs yeah those things work Surely, yeah, what great. do you got uh, my gear grinder is when Rosa does a fate. Well, what she thinks is a favor for me, <laughs> and it's really just like detrimental to my whole existence. <laughs> like the other day, she's like, "Babe, I know you're so busy, and it's and you're so you know you're burned out when you come for it." I'm going to cut the grass for you. I'm like, babe, oh. that oh. is a solid. You know, you ain't a bad chick, dude. That's a solid move. I came home, dude. And it was like it was like she gave like my yard the reverse mohawk. She put like one streak down the middle, one up to one side, like a couple here. There was and, and the grass wasn't short, so there's like eight inch pieces of grass everywhere, all around the edges. She said, I, I don't know how to work the weed whacker. Like <laughs> You, you put the battery in it, and you press the button, and, and that, that rope spins on the end, and you just hit the weeds with it. Like, what the fuck you mean you don't know how to work the weed wagon? Like, I'd rather you not even do it. Don't even fucking do it. So you had to, just, you had to go redo everything, I would imagine. Yes, Jack. That's why it's my gear grinder. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did she you, did an wonder awful what, job. Like, wonder what put that fire underneath her ass. Like, I'm going to try this today. <laughs> because she wanted to be able to be like, you don't cut the grass, so I had to do it. But she did just a horrible job. Did she ask you like a million times and like you no, just no, didn't no, get no. to it? No, 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 She just took the initiative. The grass was is getting like, pretty high back here. What's going on? It was it was kind of high. Like, it was embarrassing that it was that high. <laughs> How high? I mean, it was like eight inches. That's some white trash shit, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to fill it in. I'm trying to let it fill in. You know what I mean? Let it grow long and strong. Yeah, yeah, Hide man. all the dog shit. I, yeah. I have a comb over in my yard. You fucking snakes and zebras. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, fucking... go play in there, kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, girls, you want to catch a snake? I ain't dying on it. That girl got a little dog eating. Dude, yeah. those snakes will find high grass quick, too. Yeah, well, uh, uh, too bad Rosa didn't find a snake and got bit by one because it was the worst <laughs> fucking grass cutting job I've ever seen in my life. So I'll tell you this way. She worked for John. On risotto, she'd been fired in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm lucky she, you're lucky she didn't hurt herself, dude. She probably was out there in like flip flops. Oh, uh, yeah. I, absolutely. Like, Rosa will, will go out and like, 
say we're going somewhere. She'll have like her clothes on, like dressed to go. She'll be like, I'm going to go weed whack. Like, no, what? Like, what are you talking about? You have a sundress Dude, on. Did she like and just flip-flops. like smoke a bowl and be like, yeah, I'm going to cut the grass? That there. had to be. Had to be. Had to be. And then once she started, like, oh, this sucks. This, yeah, this, started. Like, I don't know how they work out in this heat. It was like 72 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> There's some projects that like seem fun. You'll look at them like, oh, man, I'd like to try that. And you start it, you're like, Oh, this this is yeah. Work. It's like every this project is, I do, yeah, I get right. that. Yeah, but this looked a lot easier on the home me. on the fucking home improvement network. on TikTok. Yeah, yeah I TikTok. don't call Rosa like, oh, I made dinner and then microwave like you know fucking frozen pizzas. You like, should do that. Next so time. you're saying st- stick in the, stay in the kitchen, right? You know, <laughs> <laughs> make all, me a sandwich. Stop all your bitching. Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> 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 Do you ever see the Barkley highlight? And they're like, Kenny's like, Chuck, why do you never buy, why should you never buy a woman a wash? And he's like, there's a clock on the stove. <laughs> 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 and he said it on TNT. <laughs> so, like, Kenny set him up for it. So, you know, like, Barkley, like, said it, like, behind, like, the yeah. thing. And Kenny's like, I'm going to get him to say this on fucking TNT. <laughs> it's like, like, you didn't get him fired because he's Charles Barkley. <laughs> you do it every once. Dude, I, listen, I was working at uh, Concrete one time, and this old Italian dude, this lady comes out and she's bitching. That he's making all kind of noise and it's too loud. It's too early to make all that noise. He was like, "Hey, lady, don't you got laundry to do or something like that?" <laughs> <laughs> she called the cops on her. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing funnier than like an old time sexist joke. No, yeah, no, 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 no. And he said it in broken English yeah. too. He's like, "Hey, what's the matter with you? You not gotta gotta do some goddamn laundry or something?" <laughs> she was like, Call "I'm the calling the police." <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dude, I seriously thought like that, like that Karen, like might have like because we sat on the tarmac for like a while. <laughs> she and I'm she like this fucking TSA. lady like calling like make up some crazy <laughs> shit that she put on like some and then like she might have been like baiting you with her camera ready, dude. That, that's what it, like it all it, like, it all if dude it like felt like that. And like I said, she had a fat redhead next to her, and they were like teaming up. And like I could tell, like leaning was, was the getting, redhead chirping too. Yeah, she was like the guy with no butthole said bomb. Like, so like I was sitting, <laughs> like so like it was the. Uh, I was sitting in the uh, emergency aisle, so it was just two seats, and if I like turned around, there was no seat there, so I could see the fat redheaded t- husband, <laughs> and like shit would start, and I would just turn and give him a little look, and he like we just, good cuz he would just put his head down and like give her a little. Did you nudge. get up the pee at all and like walk by them like? Uh, no, the most passive aggressive thing I could do. They were like talking about a view, and I just shut the window. Shut the window. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> they're like, "Oh, it's so." Shut all the windows. Like, <laughs> now what? Uh, yeah, because like there was an empty. I wanted her to argue because there was like there was an empty seat there right next to the window. I thought she was going to argue like that wasn't our window to shut. So I was like, I was also ready for that too. Like I was, I was hurting, and I was like tired but like i was also I'm still like I said, i'm still i'm still a bastard yeah, yeah i'm still gonna fuck but with yeah i was definitely the most passive aggressive i was just like oh you like the view <laughs> <laughs> down it goes ah. <laughs> oh what is up. that the mason dixon <laughs> line <laughs> 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 yeah. they, uh, me me and uh me and Addie, we were watching this show we always watch animal kingdom and this girl on the show she was like i'm california sober so like Addie's like what's that mean I'm like, well, it's like this terminology people use. Like, I guess if like you used to do drugs and you don't anymore, but you still want to smoke weed, weed and mushrooms, you get a pass for out there. You, you, they call it California sober. And she was like, are they really sober then? I'm like, no, because they're smoking weed, but like, who cares? Like if their life's better or whatever. And I got into this like big thing and like, I had to explain this and I'm like, I started thinking, like, it kind of started driving me nuts because, like, I started hearing it. I realized I've been hearing it more and more, and that's why it sent me over the edge. We were talking about last week. Like, it's not sober. It's you're smoking weed. Who cares? Just say you smoke weed. Right, you're not sober. But, like, California sober, it's like you want the pat on the back for being sober because you're just smoking weed. But, like, I get that. So why can't I go smoke crack? And then just be like, oh, yeah, I'm Carrick sober. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pittsburgh sober. I'm, I'm Hill District sober. What the hell is that? <laughs> I, I shoot dope and I smoke crack. Yeah. That's yeah. it, though. But other than that, I'm yeah, fine. I'm, just on Wednesdays. Just on Wednesdays, I'm Hill District sober. Dude, Doing you can great. smoke crack two or three times a week and not be a crack. That's right. Of <laughs> Dude, yeah. like, like, like we were saying, Greenfield sober. Like, all right, so what? I drink, I smoke weed, and I, sm- I do a little bit of cocaine. As long as you don't do it seven sober. days in a row. Sure, it's yeah. like at good. Stanley Street sober. Yeah, it's Stanley Street sober. Yeah, as long as you don't beat <laughs> your wife you, and you, kids, you right. or something. <laughs> I, uh, that, yes, yeah, California sober. They could smoke weed. They could fucking eat mushrooms, ayahuasca. 
pretty much anything yeah. but heroin. Anything from the <laughs> earth. I think booze is part of it. And then, like, yeah, anything like <clears throat> that's really know, stretching the, the 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 you know. It's not real. Of it's, sober. Not, yeah, it's, it's not sober. It's, it's not. It's not exactly a real what thing. It's made for so you can be. Like, oh, it's a free pass. Yeah, right. So you could be like, oh, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just. It's fine. Like, go and do that. But like, I don't think you should put that and sober in the same thing. Like, just I'm like, vegan, but I eat butter and eggs. Yeah, like it's the same thing. <laughs> like, but, but oh, you like right, to party right. a little bit. No big deal. You're not as bad as you used to be. That's Great. awesome. Right. But like to put that and sober in the same thing, it's fucking a lot of people up, dude. It really is. Like, um, I'm about to be California sober again here too. So get used to it. You ain't got, you're gonna, you're gonna, he ain't got no dog in him. <laughs> oh, Gritty ain't got no dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a gear grinder. <laughs> Fucking airport, man. When people don't walk on the walking escalator, I want to when kill they stand them. there. When they stand there, worst. Oh. It's like, all right, when you're on an escalator that's going up like steps, you could stand on that. That's fine. You don't have to walk up there. The moving sidewalk. But when you're, you're on the about. moving sidewalk yeah. escalator and you're just fucking sitting there, and you have so much shit, where like you're just blocking. Like a couple was like blocking both ways. Get on the one side so I can at least get the fuck. Right. I think there's even a sign that says, "Yeah, like if you're standing still, stay on the right. You know, passing lanes on the left." Get off it, dude. I, I hate Walk. that. I, it drives I don't understand it. The thing moves so fucking slow. And if I'm walking, like, I'm I'm gaining time. You're standing here. You're fucking, you're de- a detriment to me Yeah, right and now. It, the airport's a time-sensitive fucking Absolutely. place. Dude. Nobody wants to be there longer than they You're making to. me never want to get on an airplane ever again. I'm telling you. It, it sounds like hell. It was, you know, compared to the horror stories like of, like, Southwest and fucking Spirit and all that shit lately, it actually was fine, right? But like, I it's just like the I just hate be I hate people. Yeah, fucking like that lady pissed me off, and then like just like I I hate Ubers now for some fucking reason. I just I hate getting other people's cars. I, I don't know. I'm just I'm I think it's just old you're turning man. into <laughs> an old man. You hit right? yeah. forty and it's just, just grumpy old, old man. man. Dude, last shit. week he was different. This yeah. week he's an asshole. He looks different. He looks defeated. Yeah, I feel different. <laughs> <laughs> I feel different. I feel defeated. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. All right, baby, we're taking a quick commercial break. <laughs> Jack's going to kill himself. <laughs> 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 right back. 40, I'm almost dead anyway. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everyone? I just drove by your house. You got a giant hole in a shot. What's that for? So you can stick your dick in it, your old lady can suck it. You're better than that, man. Get that hole patched up. Why don't you call SNL Remodeling LLC? They do roofing, siding, gutters, don slots, soffit, fascia, and they'll fix that hole so your wife puts sucking everyone's dick. 412 628 9717. And tell them Z Bird sent you. We're sick of seeing your wife sucking all that cock. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you sick of your general contractor having sex with your wife? Well, I was too, and that's when I find out about Schaefer Inc. Schaefer Inc.'s primary goal is to deliver unbeatable quality for all your construction needs. They aim to firstly be a company principle driven, and to achieve this, the importance is ethical business practices. That includes great work and not having sex with your wife. Please check out Schaefer Inc. for all your contracting needs. Give them a call at 412-915-1694. That's 412-915-1694. You're living down the south side inside of a cardboard box and your dog's chewing on your leg and you probably got 73 cents in your McDonald's cup. You're looking for a place to live. Well, guess what? I got good news. Carlson and Associates is the place. They're specialized in not just in residential, but also commercial, multifamily investment, historic buildings, and everything else. So get that cardboard box, fold it up, get to the closest pay phone and make a call call 412-431-1718 to schedule an appointment carlson associate will walk down to your cardboard box and show you other boxes all around the south side have a great day folks and tell them z-bird sent you me and my wife didn't know what to do we had a gigantic tree in our backyard that we had to get cut down i've never done anything like this before who was i supposed to call luckily i found greater pit tree service a locally owned and operated company they came out got to work, and got it done in a safe manner, and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Thank you so much, Greater Pittsburgh Tree Service. And they also do free work for World War II veterans. Please call 412-884-TREE. That's 412-884-TREE. 
Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're having car problems right now, there's not really too many places to go that you can trust. One place you can is Meineke Car Care Center, located at 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin. They handle everything, not just oil changes, but brakes, maintenance, everything. So if you need, if you have car trouble and you need help, make sure you call Meineke Car Care Center, 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin, phone number 412 451 eight nine six eight and ask for arthur hey what's going on everybody if you're sitting down right now and you're listening to the podcast or watching the podcast you probably want to order a pizza and if you do make sure you order from capizudo's pizza the official pizza that greenfield's finest podcast located at 422 greenfield avenue phone number 412-521-6570 mention greenfield's finest podcast whenever you call Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. We're about to jump into what would Greenfield do? What would Greenfield do? Whoop, whoop. Uh, so we got one quick one here. Uh, listener of the show, Eddie Coyne, loves the show. Doesn't stop talking about it ever. <laughs> uh, he says a winter button on your car. So he's talking about the AC for on your car. What button do you hit? So he's saying the button where the air flows to your, like, you know, chest and face and down to your ankles is a winter button. He said all he thinks all the AC should be blowing up top, nothing down below. He thinks people are crazy if you bl- have the AC blowing on your ankles and, like, in your upper torso head area. I'm looking at the numbers on this tweet, and it looks like I was right because he only got two likes here, and, John, you're the only person that really agree with him, it looks like. I, I mean, why would you split that power? I want the full blast of the power up top. It doesn't split it up that much, dude. Sure it does, dude. It's, it was no – like, I was in the car the one day, and I'm like, why can't I get, like, cooled off? And I'm like, wait a minute, put it to the top. Woof. Blasted with cold air. I think it depends – yeah. It, it depends. I mean – how hot are we talking about scalding hot? When you, you first get in, get in your car, if you don't have yeah. time to start it up, yeah, you put it on a blast. You're putting it all up top. Yeah, I feel like, and then if you got that little seat cooler, put the wind right. through your seat. I agree with you on that one, and but after it's cold in there, I'll hit it with the ankle one too, because then you know I'm. I'm Does it get too cold for you? No, I'm just. I wanted my whole body to be chilled at the same time. You know what I mean? I got the, I got the cheek chiller on. Because he's so icy. Yeah, yeah, right. I got that dog in me. Got, uh, you got you the cheek chiller on. There it is. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> you ruined it, dude. And just like that, dog is over. Thank God. Yeah, you're Julie. welcome. Yeah, bring it back. Hey, you've been dying. He gave me twenty bucks to do that. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I definitely think it cuts the power off from the top. Like in the winter time, though, like your feet, you might come in from outside. Your feet are freezing. You need that downstairs. Yeah. In the winter time, I agree with that. Especially if you're out there in snow. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a more valuable button in the winter. For and the heat sure. rises. I get all that. But I mean, I like. I did I like it all? I like it. Like Joey said, like all on me. Yeah. So when it gets like real cold, like the car's running, it's cold. Do you put the like the recycle one on where when it blows back through? Because that's, that's like super cold when it do that. Yeah. But, but it has to be running for. A it minute. has to run for a while. And I feel like it. It does stay stay cold. I feel like that's a long like a long trip. That's a like, trip. Anything, yeah. That's anything a, that's over a, like forty five minutes. Or... You could start moving the air throughout the vehicle. Yeah. As, yeah. Anything under that, you need that shit blown on your fucking. Neck. I can't have it blown in my face, man. I mean, it's, girls. It me nuts. Girls my like wife fucking doesn't. hate it. They fuck. Laney will shut her vent. Shot. Then you get then that you extra. Get, then you get the extra vent. But you there. can vent. You can push that vent down so it's hitting like your thighs. But why would you do that if you just hit the I don't need button? it on my ankles. No, yeah, I don't you don't have to turn. You don't have to turn it. They got a button for that. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Instead of turning the fucking vent, you can have it on your face. Nah, your but legs. I just want it on my thighs. You know what I mean? If it gets oh, you got them Johnny Hot legs. Johnny oh, sizzle thighs. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny <laughs> sizzle thighs. <laughs> sizzle thighs. <laughs> Old titty boy got the hot legs. You called him gritty three times, and he's been yeah, firing on me all day. <laughs> Old titty boy. Old sizzle thighs. Old thighs. thighs. <laughs> yeah, man, them hot thighs. That's right. <laughs> We're selling hot thighs. The cream he got them blue eyes and hot thighs. All right. Hey, this place. Yeah. <laughs> hit him with it. We wanted to show. Yeah, look, I got this for you right here. Sure, so hit him. Him. I'll uh, touch my thigh. Yeah. <laughs> that's a weird. 
<laughs> that's a weird place. To... I just want to fucking see it. <laughs> that's a weird place to touch your pal. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> you think you could talk him into it, Zebra? Yeah. Yeah. He was about he to, was about about to go. Like, he well, he's never touched his place yeah. before. Yeah. 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 It's your yeah. point yeah. of shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh so shy now. Yeah. Sizzle ties are getting showy all over yeah, and done. No <laughs> we got to ride home together still. You don't worry about it. Them thighs ain't no sizzle. Hey, right just, hey, just put my AC on the bottom half. <laughs> Where do you think? He says the jack's all bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. Where, where do you think, besides like the wiener or the butt, is the weirdest place to touch your buddy? The wing, uh, <laughs> <laughs> your face. Your yeah, face. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the face like, is you touch like, the back of my neck. That's, 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 yeah. that's quite yeah. intimate. Yeah, don't touch. <laughs> I'm feeling weird sitting next to this dude right now. <laughs> Look I mean, at his got to be. I mean, hey, hey, my, be up like, there. I'm like, your hands, like, touch when you're walking. Like, you know what I fucking hate? We have this one friend who's, like, a real handsy fucking hugger, toucher. You know, hey, what's up, buddy? And pretty much like gives you like a rub down when he's like, uh, he and, frisk like, you, yeah, and he'll like touch my like love handle, like kitch your nuggets <laughs> off my love handle, dude. Yeah, get your these, dick beaters yeah, off my yeah. lower hip. These love handles are for me to touch only for washing purposes. These are leanies. Yeah, he'll be like, hey, what's up, buddy? How are you? And I'll be like, just get on my lo-. like, bro, get out of there. Yeah. Dude. Get your mitts off me. <laughs> Who the he's fuck one, are you hanging out he's, he's Right, like, I want names. Let me get a handle. I'm Dude, cool, it's man. just like, like, get your hands off my love handle. It's fucking no consent there. I don't like whenever I'm out and, like, say I'm somewhere and dudes will put their arms around, like, the chairs. And I'm like, it makes arms me around, Yeah, because you're going to get in their pits. Yeah, like, I don't want to be in your pits. Like, you know, it just makes me uncomfortable. It ruins the whole time. Like, I think you got to be the, the asshole. It's like... You got to duck you out of it like a house. dickhead. You got to move your armpit. You got to move your arm. Because even if your armpits don't like stink, there's there could be a little like deodorant must come yeah, off. Yeah, but not only that, I'm not your little brother, dude. Right. Like, that's get your I'm fucking coming. arm off. I, the me. armpits, <laughs> one thing, but just get your arm off the chair. But sometimes dudes. it does create like more space. I, I I I don't like it either. You know what I don't mind? mind that like I feel like people hate. Uh, you know when a buddy like leans on you, he gives like, the old you know. Like you're bullshitting and like I'll just give you like a lean. I usually do that because I'm I, I'm stumbling and I need somebody to prop me up. I don't mind that. You could touch my shoulders if you're my pal. Just, just not the love, love handles. handles. Yeah. You're crossing a motherfucking line. It I really, really like I really don't like that lean on because I'm shorter and motherfucker would try to lean on me. I'm like just get off me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they're putting some weight on you. Yeah, <laughs> they lean on the fucking stool. John's get a, off my thighs. He's, he's yeah. a load bearing yeah. friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could see that. Me being a big guy, I could handle a little bit of lean. Yeah. Old Gritty said, come Old on, come Gritty on, said, come on, come give on, it to me. Come on, over, get warm. Get on next to Gritty, Gritty, Because the boy got some down. Get him. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to Grateful Finds Podcast. Fucking stupidest not, show on earth. Do not forget about <laughs> Do not forget about August 27th. <laughs> Grab your tickets for a comedy show, Comfort Theater. I'll be headlining. We'll also, uh, Taylor Gang sponsored having that show live taped so I can use all the support we can get. September 2nd is our live show at Bottle Rocket Social. Tickets are available online at bottlerocketsocial.com. Everyone have a great week. And remember, folks, Greenfield loves you. We're out. <laughs>